everybody. I'm going to start a little bit early today just so that I can get myself totally set up. We're not going to, we won't start our, our whole, our whole make and make thing until everybody's here, but I was having a few internet issues. So I just want to make sure that I'm on. So how is everyone? Oh, yay. Hi, Brenda. Howdy. How is everybody? made my tea. I got myself together. I'm ready. So how's your week been? Mine has been good. I've had a good week. Hi, Kiki. I've had a good week. Good, good week. Um, awesome. I made my tea. I'm all ready. Got my junk mail. Oh, Brenda. Hi, Lily. You guys rock. So I think we're gonna we're gonna do a couple of ATCs and then we're gonna make an accordion card. I I'm gonna we're out of our junk mail and our panty papers. So how many of you guys have my black tea, my English black tea? How many of you guys made um made those? Hi, Kayla. Aloha Friday. Oh, Kayla, Friday could not come too soon for me. <laughs> I was so ready for Friday. I was so ready. I was like, thank goodness it's Friday. Yay. Lawrence will poke on the accordion folder. No, it's actually an accordion card. Hi, Glory. Tell us if that's your, if that's your... The name you want us to call you by, or if you have a different name. This week, can I tell you, the mombi kicked my butt. I was the up at, I, I'm just, even though we were only off of school for like a little bit, like a minute, I was like, so I needed, you guys, I am not a morning person and I'm realizing it, you know? I mean, I always knew it, but it was definitely more self-evident now. My week's been pretty good. Hi, Luana. Hi, Elaine. Hi, Sarita. Hi, Cloud9. Tell us what your name is. And if you guys want to shout out at me during the live stream or during when we're making, to put it in all caps because I miss it sometimes. You guys are chatting so fast it goes by faster than, um, than I know. A ta you're saying a tablet you can't type for on for chat you know what Luana if you go somewhere in on the, in the Facebook group um, Scotty told somebody how to do it honestly I am not technology I'm not great you're Samantha glory her name is Samantha so hi Samantha we're so happy that you're here we're so so happy that you're here you went shopping Lily what did you get Brenda said she got a new year who knew he gonna be there tomorrow. Awesome. Awesome. Samantha, thank you for joining our group. Hi Cheshire, how are you? And Cloud9 is Jada. I love the name Jada. Hi Cloud9. So if you guys haven't joined our Facebook group, run on over and join it. Everyone's welcome. Doesn't matter what you craft, you don't have to paper craft just because that's my momentary tangent. You know, you can um Hi Frida. Um, you can do whatever you'd like. Like you can, there's some crocheters on there and there's some, um, knitters and a couple of people that quilt and uh, two people that make amazing miniatures and dollhouse stuff, which I love. And there's just lots of cool stuff. So I know we're a little bit early. So I... I, you know, I commit myself to things that I shouldn't commit myself to, okay? I am totally, like, it's one of those things where I should just say no. Do any, does anybody else do that except me? Does anybody besides me commit themselves and then, you know, in retrospect, you're just like, why did I even say yes? Why did I even, like, say I'd do it? You needed retail therapy, so that's why you got a backpack and a purse and a choker necklace. Oh, that's awesome. Some earrings, Lily. Good for you. 
Well, if you lived on Maui, there's not much retail therapy, so you wouldn't have it here. You'd have to shop online. Hi, Ash. Hey, Ash, can you post in the group? Um, can you post in the group that we're live a little early? Okay. Um, you do that too, Luana? Okay. So you guys, did you, did any of you guys see my like two minute video from earlier today from the box thing? Oh my gosh. So I committed. So what happened was, is this, she's not, this friend of mine, you know how you run into people and you're just like, they ask you stuff out of the like clear blue and you're just like, you do it and you're just like, why did I say I do it? So, so what happened was, I happened to see her and she gives me, she just, I used to be a studio jeweler and I still do make some jewelry. I will, I will say honestly, I don't make what I'm used to make before. I mean, I made high, high end jewelry, like, you know, gold and diamonds and platinum and silver and, you know, stuff. Honestly, now I just sort of make jewelry for fun and I do like little bits and pieces like, you know, I make those tin can, those soda can earrings, and sometimes I make some, some sea glass work, and um, occasionally I'll get a, still get an order for something that's sort of nice. Well, my friend, she, like, she hands me this bag. First of all, when somebody's like a studio jeweler, they don't have the same equipment. Not very many people can repair jewelry. You know, repair, like, your broken costume jewelry. All that stuff is, is made with base metal. And that's sort of a specialty, specialty type of thing to, to fix, okay? So she gives me this bag, and it was an enormous bag. I should have showed you the bag of jewelry. But anyway, I already gave it back. So this enormous bag of jewelry, and it was just, it was from a friend of hers that had unfortunately passed away, and she wanted to make something out of it. You guys, I've had it for like three or four months, and it's just been sitting in the corner of my room staring at me, saying, commitment, 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 you know? And so I'm just like, uh, so she, and, and I'm doing this for nothing. I'm doing it, I'm free of charge on my time. And then she calls me up last week, and she gets kind of not nice with me. And she's like, can I just come and get my stuff? Or, or I, and I was just like, you know, if somebody's doing you something, I used to sell my jewelry for thousands and thousands of dollars. If somebody's making you something for free, you got to go roll with their time, you know. And so, because I wasn't inspired, you guys, the jewelry was all really ugly. And she didn't want any jewelry. If she'd wanted a piece of jewelry, that would have been really easy. She, she, I made the suggestion, oh, I'd make her a box. And I had envisioned in my head that I would make this wooden box or I'd even just buy a wooden box. And I'd do like a really cool mosaic on the top of it. Okay, a couple things happened. I went through all the jewelry and there wasn't, it was so bad. There wasn't anything to like put together. It didn't really go together. And then the other thing, it was just like, it was daunting me. So finally last night I broke down and I made it. So you guys saw, if you go watch the video, you can see it. I could, so I went down to, you know, that big box store that I'm not crazy about, but I went down there and I bought these boxes for like, I don't know, they're like a dollar each, maybe less. And they're like, you know, they're paper mache boxes made in the Philippines. And I want to give you a note, like don't pull the, the tag off the back like I did, because then you have to like fix it. Um, if you take your heat gun to it and heat up the tag, it'll come off and you won't rip your box. Then I painted it with my cheap acrylic paint, right? Drew a flower on it, and you can see the end result one. So I did a little mosaic on that. So that was like, and it's been weighing on me. So I promised myself I'm not going to do things from this point forward that I don't want to do. Is that, you know, it was just too much. So Hottie was going over there to her side of town, which is like, I don't know, it's like an hour away from where I live. So, hi, Vicky. So I said, um... Glory's name is Samantha. Um, so I had him take it over there, you know. But I will say it was like it was a fun. It was fun doing it. I, I mean, once I got into it, the fiddly part was they had these little tiny black beads trying to outline. Like if I was gonna do it again, like I may do this one. I wouldn't. I don't have any more of those black beads because that was her necklace. 
But if I was going to do it again, I think I would draw in a lighter color and then fill in the mosaic. So tell me what's going on in your world. Oh, Fiona, you're here. Yay! Oh, awesome. You guys are you guys are awesome. So, I uh, now that Fiona's here, can um did anybody post in our Facebook group that um did anybody post in our Facebook group that we're on? Because we still got like a couple minutes. And so for those of you that want to make and, and that want to make along, get a couple pieces of junk. First, we're going to do our power pack. I'm going to do a few cards in our power pack. So if you guys want to make along, all you need is a playing card. Hi, Renee. All you need is a playing card and some magazine pages and painty papers. And if you haven't made painty papers, they're super easy to make. You posted it. Yeah, I was on a little bit early because I was having some internet issues, Ash, and I just wanted to make sure I want to make sure it was actually gonna work. But I'm gonna wait a couple more minutes. Hi Carla. I'm gonna wait a, a couple more minutes before everybody um before everybody you know, for everybody to get on. So that's how my week was. I made commitments to things. Um, well, I don't. I don't know how responsible it is to myself, but you know what, Lana? This is the thing. Hi, Nancy. This is the thing. Is I don't. I don't know if I'm going to be inspired to make something. You know, it's one thing if it comes from my heart, then I know it's going to be a, a no go, right? I mean, I mean, it's going to be a total go all the way. If it's something somebody asks me to do, as much as I really want to do it, I may not be inspired to do anything, you know? And then I'm stuck in this place, and then I don't like feeling like that. So I just, um... Oh, you're awesome. I came on just a tiny bit early because my computer has been acting up, and it gave me, when I tried to do something, when I tried to upload that little tiny two-minute video, it was a big deal. And so, anything. Hi, Anne! How are you guys? So I'm not going to commit to anything I don't want to do anymore. Because my creative process isn't fast. Sometimes it's really fast. You made three ATCs? Awesome. You're cutting up cereal boxes, Kiki? Awesome. You don't need playing cards. You can do these with any type of two and a half by three and a half piece of paper. Um, it needs to be a little bit thicker. I would definitely do it card stock at least. Or if you're going to use junk mail, the heavier type of junk mail, I would definitely do that. But what we're going to do, hopefully we're going to make enough of them to be, um, oh Carla, I have so much Christmas stuff, I haven't even like delved into it. So these are kind of fun Christmas gifts too though, if you wanted to give somebody a power pack. Scotty gave it the name power pack because I said they should be empowerment cards. It would be kind of fun to get one of these. And, I, and I'm contemplating, I'm just letting you know, I'm contemplating putting on the back of them if it's, I'm contemplating putting either a, a quote on the back of them of something I like or um, or using them as art journaling cards. You know, like where you put journal prompts on the back or mixed media prompts on the back. So I don't know. As After I get a whole deck made, then I can make the decision of whether I'm going to make them as, whether I'm just going to do them as you know, happiness cards because they make me happy looking at them, right? Or if I'm going to put on the back, I still, she needs a, a, she needs a quote and she needs something. If I'm going to put, if I'm going to put some either journaling or um, mixed media prompts on the back or if I'm going to put a quote on the back or our journaling prompts, so that, that's where my head is. But wouldn't you love to get a package of these cards if somebody had spent the time, especially if you're an artist, right? If somebody spent the time to make you uh, some journal prompt cards or um, some mixed media prompt cards. Hi, Susan. So, all right, all you lurkers out there. Well, I mean, it's either, it's one way or the other. You know, it's like if you wanted to do inspiration quotes, that's great. And if you wanted to do, you know, you could do inspiration quotes and then you could also put like, you know, Paint a layer of gesso, you know, or whatever. Or, or... Hi, Carrie. So, 
I don't know. That's where my head is right now. I've got, I got a whole bunch of stuff. Um, my daughter's asking me a question. Honey, I have no idea. Why don't you ask? Um, I think, look in the kitchen. I think it's hanging off the door in the kitchen. She's looking for the leash for the dog. She just got home from school. Oh, Scotty, we're just talking about you. I'm so happy to see you. Are you having a great time at your mom's? Hi, Rebecca. We're just talking about that. We're calling our cards Power Pack. We're calling our cards Power Pack. So... <laughs> Hi, Jan. Awesome. Watching on your iPad so you won't chat much. Is it harder? Hang on one second, ladies. Don't chase her. Just go in the other room and call her, and she'll come. Or, or squeak, do something, then you can get her. How's the bird whisperer? Oh, we haven't had any bird whispering issues this week, but we have had other things. So, let me, I want to show you guys... So now that we're all here, I want to show you what I got. I got some Happy Mail. And my Happy Mail came all the way from Australia. Look at this beautiful Happy Mail. Oh, I'm so excited. It's awesome. So I didn't even open it. I mean, I took it out of the package, but I didn't do anything else. So this Happy Mail came from our lovely Fiona. And I'm so excited. I'm so excited to open it. So I won't read the card. I won't read the card in front of everybody because you know I'm a crier. So I'll wait to read the card later. But I just wanted to share my happy mail with all of you. I'm so excited. I think this is gonna like bump my bump my shabby chic journal back to the forefront of my head. Isn't this beautiful? This fabric. Oh my gosh, Fiona, this is gorgeous. Um, this is so beautiful. I think this could be a journal cover all on its own. I just love it. Oh my goodness. And now it came earlier today and it was all I could do not to want to open it. Hi, Mildred! Isn't it beautiful? And she dyed all this. Oh my gosh, the color's just gorgeous. Fiona, the color is be. Oh my goodness! Oh, Fiona, I love it! Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm gonna think I'm gonna have to make a new journal. Oh, what? Oh my gosh! <gasps> oh my gosh, look at this, you guys. Can you guys even see this lace? Oh, Fiona, this is so beautiful. Oh, I'm gonna cry anyway. You guys, I haven't. I don't wanna be a crier. This is beautiful, Fiona. Oh my gosh, I don't even know what to say. I'm like overwhelmed. This is amazing. Look at this beautiful lace, you guys. Can't, my my auto whatever isn't working right, so it doesn't. It, I had to turn off the autofocus because it jumps. She hand dyed all of this, you guys, for me. Isn't this beautiful? Oh, I love this. I love all of it. Oh no, now my now my shabby chic journal is going to be like in the forefront of my. I may make a new one. I may like invest in like really breaking down and making something amazing. Oh my gosh. Fiona, I love this. This is just amazing. Thank you so much. <gasps> Look at this. Oh my goodness. Look at this with music notes. Oh my gosh. Hi, Jen. Oh my gosh. I've never seen anything like this. Can you guys even see it? This is just amazing. It's got music notes on it. Scotty, what did you have? You had homemade coconut cream pie and catfish for lunch? Well, I'm from Texas, and catfish is a big deal, you know? <laughs> we used to eat catfish for breakfast. This is amazing. I have to say, I am, like, a little overwhelmed, and when when she said, I'll send you a few pieces of lace, I thought, oh, great, you know, a couple, this is above and beyond. Fiona, I'm gonna have to make a whole new journal. My new, this journal that I'm making, is not. It's going The one I'm gonna have to make for this is gonna have to have amazing paper and everything. This is just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. 
You know, you could open up a lace store. You could truly open up a trim store. Oh my goodness. Look at this, you guys. This is really beautiful and so soft. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm like overwhelmed. Look at this. I'm going to definitely, I'm going to go back and I'll make a, I'll make a better journal. <laughs> I'll make a better shabby chic journal for this. It is stunning. It is so stunning. You love your lace. You may you use all of it. I have to tell you. I, thank you so much, Fiona. I'm like, I don't even know what to say. You guys, look at this. This is so beautiful. I'm like in love with all of it. There isn't a piece that I don't love. And the colors are beautiful. And like, look how beautiful this pale, pale pink. This is the avocado dyed one that you did, Fiona. It's just beautiful. I love this. This is amazing. Thank you so much, Fiona. This is above and beyond. I ex When you said a few pieces of lace, I thought maybe two or three pieces of lace. This is like, I'm going to have to really invest. Oh, and have a whole other package to go through. <gasps> oh, and she made me a tag. Oh, my gosh. Ladies, look at this. Isn't this beautiful? Oh, Fiona, I love it. Oh, Fiona, thank you so much. This is beautiful. What's hard to tell on screen? That it's... She's amazingly awesome to share with me. It's so beautiful. I'm, the, you know what? It is overcast today, you guys. It's in the middle of the day. Usually mm -hmm. the latter part of the day where I live is the hottest part and the brightest part. Of, you know, the lightest part. But it's been overcast. I'm just... This is amazing. Thank you, Fiona. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh my gosh. I'm going to have to like find a really book. Maybe I'll even have to make a book from scratch. You know, like make the... Oh, wow. Wow. Oh my gosh. Look at this, you guys. Uh, well, it's going to make my trashy card today seem, seem like nothing in comparison to this amazing lace stash. Fiona, it's amazing. Thank you for your tremendous generosity and for just making me all these beautiful pieces. This is the coffee dyed lace and it is gorgeous. I think I have enough. Oh, wow. Look at the appliques, you guys. I think I have enough for like five journals. Well, I better get on to my shabby chic and maybe I'll have to just set up a little table in the corner and start um, making paper for it. Look at this. Oh, just gorgeous just gorgeous oh my gosh look at this look at the appliques these are beautiful hey lucinda so i won't i won't take up all of your time going through my new lace stash but this is amazing fiona i mean i'm gonna have to go back and look at each piece individually and i'll post some pictures in our facebook group i'll, I'll try to break out my other camera this is gorgeous and take some pictures this is amazing Oh my gosh. Thank you for sharing, first of all, for even thinking of me. And thank you for sharing your just gorgeous stash with me. And I will start a new Shabby Chic journal to use all of this. Maybe I'll even make a doll. I used to make dolls. Not like Phaedra dolls. Phaedra makes amazing dolls like sculpted face dolls. Mine are painted face dolls. This is just beautiful. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, look at this. This is crazy. This is amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. I just got, what? Somebody's texting me and telling me I'm a brat. Okay, I won't, I won't waste any more of your time looking through my stuff. Fiona, I have to tell you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. And... I am just, just, wow. I didn't expect this. Oh, wow. You guys, uh, this is amazing. Just amazing. You guys, now we're going to work and make stuff with trash. Oh, my gosh. Now I feel terrible. Look at this. Isn't this beautiful? So I didn't look at it before everything because I wanted to do it with you guys. And now look at that. Oh, my gosh. Fiona, these are amazing. 
I don't know where you scour and find your lace, but it is awesome and amazing. Look at the pearls. Oh, wow. Well, thank you so much, Fiona. I'm giving you a huge hug, and I love every piece of it. I love all of it. And I think you should definitely open a lace store. I think you could... Uh, and your, your dyeing is beautiful. The way you dyed, the, the, the way you've dyed it is just stunning. Oh, you guys, now I'm feeling like I can't cry today. I promised myself I wouldn't do any more crying. Thank you, Fiona. And I'm going to read the card later because I know I'll cry if I read it now. Thank you so much. Thank you for your tremendous generosity and your love. Oh, my God. I'm a little bit overwhelmed. Okay, so get your cards out and let's just start. Make, let's make a couple of ATCs and... Then we'll start our junk mail. We'll start our our junk mail card. And that was amazing. I have to tell you, I'm just like I'm a little I'm a little a little um without words. What is that called? Stumped? Um shocked, emotional, I don't know. So for those of you who've never made an artist trading card, we're just going to make a few. We're, we're trying to make a power pack, as, as Scotty called it. Thank you from the bottom of my heart, I have to tell you. I am just overwhelmed. I, I'm, I'm completely... You've, you've left me speechless there, Fiona. Oh, ladies, I'm so appreciative. Thank you very much. So for those of you that haven't made an artist trading card before... Um, they're two and a half by three and a half in, in size, and they used to be primarily for artists to trade. I know I'm a little lost for words. I am totally a little lost for words. Thanks for saying that, Kiki. That's very sweet. I'm just, verklempt, yes. Yes, I'm very verklempt. <laughs> I'm blown away, yes. Those are all good words. Um... So, artist trading cards were traditionally like given like a calling card. It's a way for an artist to share their work with you in a smaller way, right? And they're generally traded. I think nowadays even some people sell their artist trading cards, but most artists trade them. So, the ones that we are making came from, we did a whole bunch of painty papers. And we painted on the back of newspaper for those of you that didn't, let me see if I have a painty paper close by. For those of you, we painted, we did a whole series of painting on the back of newspaper flyers. And that's what I've used for the backgrounds for my artist trading cards. You can use anything for your backgrounds. Bye, Scotty. Give your mom a big hug and kiss for me. And eat some, have uh, your power pack. Your cards are amazing. If you guys haven't joined our Facebook group, go on over and then check out Scotty's. And yeah, hi, starting over. Remind us of your first name again because I'm terrible with names. Bye, Scotty. Big hugs and lots of love. Your cards are awesome, by the way. So, you know, I wanted to make, really because of, of you ladies, I wanted to make a, an empowerment, a power pack, an empowerment pack. And like a, an, em hi, Helen. Like a, cards that would empower you make you feel tina awesome tina sorry tina it used to be great at remembering names now you guys i can't remember i get to the hey do you guys ever get to the grocery store and you can't remember what you went for that's where i'm at right now so we want i wanted to make them empowering empowering because i feel like this you guys have empowered me and been here for me when i really needed it and i really think that you know, if we just continue to remind ourselves every day of just really wonderful, simple things about ourselves, it brings you, hi Eva, it brings you, you know, closer together and back to to the center of you. So, Scotty named them, we were talking about what to call them, so Sc Scotty named them the Power Pack. So, I glued my painty papers on the back of playing cards. You don't have to put yours on playing cards. You don't have to put um, your, you can leave the cards on one side. I, I was just mentioning that I may want to put on one side. After I finished all of the cards, I may decide to put either quotes or maybe even some art journaling prompts on the back. And that could be another, the next step for us if we wanted to do that. But the front, so I've, I've just printed my painty paper my, and I've glued it with a glue stick. And then I've cut out a couple of images of 
some women that I like. And so this is what I've got so far. So I still have a bunch to, you know, my goal is to try and do two whole decks. So that would be 104 cards. But, you know, boy, you really caught me. Um, I'm not usually a one for loss for words, but Fiona, you did it. You did it to me today. I'm definitely at a loss for words. I'm just feeling, feeling a little emotional, and very, but very grateful at the same time. So here's some of my backgrounds, and I figure if we do a couple every time we get together, we'll have finished the, um, we'll have finished it in no time. So for those of you that have never harvested a magazine, I just went through and tried to find some fun images. I like this image of this woman. She's walking off a spaceship. I'm obviously going to cut the spaceship off, but I like it. So tell me how your week has been going, you guys. I want to know how everyone else's week has been going. Tell me how, tell me how you, how everybody's been going. Um, yes, please post in, post in the Facebook group. My scissors, these scissors, I think I broke them cutting something I shouldn't have been cutting. So, you know, harvest your magazines and you don't have to do that. You can do it any time. I have a whole folder of stuff. But sometimes people say, well, where do you find your images? Anything. Any, in, right now, I just have a collection of fashion magazines, but you can find them anywhere. And Ash gave a really great way for those of you, because I've gotten a bunch of comments where people have said, well, I don't have any magazines. Well, Ash put something in, um, in our Facebook group where you can earn magazines it's very easy. I did it. I wanted to try it out to see if I could do it myself. And within like 20 minutes, I answered. And if you read these like little articles and answer a survey, I don't know, Ash, you can tell them about it. And then you get some free magazine subscriptions. And they're usually like magazine subscriptions for a couple of years. It's not just a, not just a minute. So it's kind of cool. So you can get some. Ash, can you tell everybody what it was? Because I don't, uh, honestly, I don't have it up on my computer, so I can't say. Is it like free cycle or something? No, it's not free cycle. What's it called? You're sewing two custom dresses this week, Eva. Oh, that's awesome. Hi, Liz. Well, we're happy you're here. We are so happy you're here. All right, let me see if I can tell you what happened for me this week. You guys didn't know I always have some ridiculousness, but I'm just trying to think of what, what ridiculousness happened this week. Oh, I know. So remember when we our last live stream, you guys heard all those kids yelling at each other? Okay, Helen said she had a pizza, pizza and Domino's party at her house yesterday with kids and grandkids and your brand new daughter-in-law. Oh, congratulations, Helen. That's awesome. So you guys listened to the last live stream and there was like, um, yeah, tell everybody where you're from. Post it. Um, everybody, people are finding their crafty best friends here, so go for it. Post it up on there where you're from. So the last live stream, we heard the kids arguing outside. So after the live stream, I went outside, okay? And I don't know if you could hear it, but they were like, and they were all my neighborhood kids. They were like, they were throwing the F-bomb down. These are little kids. And I was like, oh, great. I'm, I'm due to crafting, I'm due to crafting live stream and you can hear little kids on the street throwing the F-bomb down. So they had decided they were having like some big, I don't know what happened. Like he said, she said, you know the normal stuff I guess that happens, but I was like seriously, this is ridiculous. And they came all the way over to my house to do it, okay? The, the street, we live in a cul-de-sac, they came all the way over to my house to do it, so I went outside after the stream and I told my daughter, I said, can you get all the kids and... One of them had gone home, and they were all upset. They were, like, really fighting. And so I gathered them all up, and I said, what are you guys doing? And I said, what, you know, and then they all started to get, like, really, like, you know, start blaming. He said, she said, oh. I said, what are you doing? You guys are kids. I said, you're supposed to be having, and I went, you know, you're not supposed to be saying that F word. I said, the only F word you're supposed to be saying is, and they were odd. Their eyes got really big because they didn't know that I heard it. And I said, F -f 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 -u -n fun, F U N fun. And they rolled in laughter. So now I said, the next time you guys start to yell at each other, all you can yell is F -f 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 fun, F -f 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 fun. They think I'm in, they think I'm a nut job. 
And I was like so mortified. I was like, oh my God, the kids of all the places to come to have like an argument it's right in front of my house when I am talking to you guys. So I hope you guys are all going to have some fuff -a -fuff -a fun. So that was, that was one ridiculous thing. I'm liking her on here. Do you guys like her on here? I like her. I like her on the textured, on the textured background. And I talked to my daughter in China, and she is, she's loving it. I didn't have the same quite experience, you know. I went to China, and it was so polluted for me. The air quality wasn't good. Well, granted, I didn't go to Shanghai where she is. Um, but. She said she's having a wonderful time. F -f 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 fun, right? But you should have seen them. They were all sitting on the edge of their seats. They were like, oh, no. I said, and you guys, what is up with this F word? I said, and then their eyes were huge. I'm like, I said, I was on the phone. I didn't tell them I was live streaming. I was on the phone. I said, and I could hear you guys. And their eyes got big. F -f 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 fun. So if you'll hear them outside in a little bit, you'll hear them going, F -f 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 fun, because they've been running by my door now going, F -f 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 fun. I'm liking my cards. You guys are doing some good cards too. Hi, Yvonne. You're from Seymour, Tennessee? Awesome. You didn't hear the F word? Well, they were throwing the F word down. I'm telling you. It was so loud outside. I was like, what is up here? You know? I'm sure somebody will hear it, and then I'll never hear the end of it. I'll get to hear, like, you know, I'll get to hear. So I thought, you know, I thought I had to put Queen Elizabeth in there. I was, you know, the really sad thing is I don't really notice it, but there were no, there were hardly any pictures of women, at least in the magazines that I got, so I have to find another one. There were hardly any real life pictures of any women that represent anyone I look like, even when I was 20 and skinny. So I was, that was a whole other thing. I was like, oh no, I can't have not some, some, I can't have some, some, Carrie, please, are you a parent? Kids hear everything everywhere. If you if you think they hear it at school, they hear it from their friends, they hear it on TV, they hear it in music, they hear it everywhere. Yeah, it's like I don't know where they hear it. No, we, they hear it from each other. It doesn't even matter where. It's just like I was just like mortified that they'd be fighting with each other and saying it. You know. So you wait. When your kids come home, how old are your kids, Carrie? Wait till your kids come home and tell you, like, stuff. You'll be like, I didn't teach them that. You'll be like, you be, you'll be like, where did you learn that? They don't even know where they learn it. They just do. You know, so. I don't know. I was going to see what else is going on in my world this week. I'm trying to think. Oh, I finally broke down and cooked a big meal yesterday, but it was hot as anything here, you guys. It's, like, so hot. It's, like, I haven't wanted to cook. I've been, like, so... <laughs> it is, like, an everyday word. It is, like, it's, like, ridiculous. You know, but somebody has to make a... You know, I just said to them, you know, not everybody wants to hear that word. And I said, you know, you're fine to say that word when you're at home alone. Same thing I used to tell my kids when they were little. You know, I understand that you know, say that word, feel empowered to say that word, say it when you're alone. Not everybody wants to hear it. So these kids are like between the ages of 8 and 12. So, you know, I have, who knows? They watch movies. It's in a lot of movies, too. Even on TV shows. I don't know what I was watching the other day. It was on. So, I suggest that you find, take your time and find pictures of women that you really enjoy. Because if it's going to be your power pack, it might be something you really want to see. I guess I could have left Brenda's dogs. I just didn't want her dogs. 
I'm gonna have to find another word, and or maybe I'll find a hat for her. <laughs> it happens, you know. It has been so hot here. I don't know what is up. So back to me telling you about my daughter in China. Isn't this a cute one though? I liked this picture of this lady. This is a name of Marcus ad for Alexander McQueen, but I liked her. Don't you like her with the camera? I like her. Yeah, me too, Carrie, but what can you do? You know, you just have to be the role model, right? That's all you can do is be the role model in your own life. But I just knew for sure you guys heard it. So that, that was my, that was my, that was my ridiculous whatever with my kids. Oh, they weren't, it wasn't even my daughter. It was the neighborhood kids. We need a little rain. If you could send some rain my way. Hey, Grace, we would love it. Okay, lurkers, who's out there? So what, I want to ask you guys, if you have been, Bet says she painted four painty papers last night, woohoo! And you want to finish tonight, grandkids, and all you have your grandkids, awesome. Well, what could I do, Lana? It was like, I was like, oh no. I was like, I don't, the last thing I need is for every single time I get on the computer to stream with you guys, they decide to have an argument right outside my door, and then they're like, you know sailor mouth. I'm sure they all went home and told I'll tell you guys a really funny story. This is ridiculous. I don't know how funny it'll be to you, but it was funny to me. So my eldest daughter, that is, I'm really happy that she did some painting papers. Hi, Lynn! Is Danina here? Is my girl Danina here? So, okay, so you know, like, I, I have three daughters. My grow, my oldest daughter's 25, and she's the one that just moved. She moved to Japan, and then now she's in China, in Shanghai. And she's loving Shanghai. I talked to her yesterday. She loves her. She loves her apartment. She loves her. She loves all of it. She said they had to go register at the police station. I was like, oh wow, you no know, different different place, but she's loving it so far. So when she was little, I, we lived in New York City. And in New York City, birthday parties are kind of like an event. I make lives, lives seem easy. Live stream easy. No, it's just, I, they're not easy. Especially if you have technical difficulties and I have them all the time. So she was about, oh my gosh. I want to say she's about six. And... There were birthday parties all the time. Basically, like, every weekend there was a birthday party. There was, like, some sort of a birthday party or something. There was always something. And it was... I may have to not put Brenda in here because I cut her too small. She left her with her dog and I didn't. Um... So, I don't know which one I like better. So, anyway, so... As a parent, you would, like, take turns. Otherwise, you'd be at birthday parties, like, all the time. It would be like a non-stop birthday party extravaganza. So, I like her too. So, I, um, you know, I volunteered. So, I must have had, I don't know. I had a cab full. I had like four little girls in the back of the cab and me in the front. So, you know, we go to the birthday party and then we're on our way home. And, you know, I don't even remember the extent of the party, but on the way home, one of the little girls in the back seat says, where do babies come from? And I'm like, what lady with the dog? I don't have a dog. I cut her off. I cut her off. <laughs> I cut the lady with the dog off. You mean, you mean Queen Elizabeth? So she, and there, there must have been like five or six. So she's like, where do babies come from? And I was just like, oh my God. And one of them said, tell us the truth, the real truth. And they all started piping in in the back seat. And I'm riding in the front seat of the car, of the cab. And I also happen to be having a Sikh cab driver. Do you know the type of religion, Sikhism? You know, they're the people, they wear turbans on their heads. And they're, it's from, uh, they're from, generally from Punjab, India. It's a very beautiful um spiritual, it's very beautiful spiritual sect of people that all peace, loving and everything, but very, very modest. Hi, Michelle! Um, 
very, very modest. And I'm like, oh no. And so he like looks out of the corner of his eye at me. And these, these little girls are like saying, so tell me like, and tell me the truth. So I'm like, oh my gosh. It's, my head's racing. I'm sitting in the front seat of this car and I'm thinking to myself, you know, if you've ever been to New York City, parenting in New York City is like, I don't know. It's like, it's crazy. And you either get the kind of parents that are going to be mortified that you've told their kids where babies come from at the age of six or seven or whatever. And then, no, they were five, I think. They were in kindergarten. Or you're going to get the kind that tell people, you either get the people that tell their kids the absolute truth, like all the time, or you get people that don't tell them anything and they, you know, you know what I mean. It's like a personal thing. So I fumble through and I say, I said, well, you know, I'm like, uh, and the one little girl was holding me to task in the back seat. You know, well, my daughter has said nothing, okay? She's, like, sitting there. But the one little girl that's held me to task in the back seat is, like, she's writing me. She's like, and we will know if it is the truth, you know? So I said, well, I said, babies can come a bunch of different ways. And I was like, oh, my God, please. I said, well, sometimes, I said, you know, sometimes... You know, people, sometimes people adopt children, and I said that's where they, you know, go through a series of being interviewed, and I go through this whole thing, right, and finding, and, you know, finding someone who can't take care of a baby, and then they get picked as a family. I said, sometimes like that, and I said, and then sometimes, <laughs> oh, Lord, you guys, and then I, I go through this whole thing, and then I said, and sometimes, you know, and I said, and then, you know, other times, babies can, you know, they come in, they, they grow in your stomach. And I start going like, you know, like a chicken and an egg, you know, like a chicken lays an egg, and the egg, and they sit on the egg until the egg can be, becomes a baby chicken. I said, that's sort of what happens, that there's an egg in your mommy's tummy, and I go through this whole thing, this whole thing. And then I'm going through like, and then I'm... It was, like, ridiculous, you know? I'm, like, and I'm sweating. I'm sweating bullets in the front seat of this car. <laughs> and then I'm also playing in my head the conversations that I'm, when I, as soon as I let these kids off at their home, the conversations I'm going to have with their parents on the phone late, later saying, your child asked me about where do babies come from. So then one little girl in the back seat goes, well, what does sex have to do with it? And I didn't even say the word sex. I was like, oh my God, the one that was like asking me. And I said, well, I said, you know how the chicken sits on the egg? And I said, you know the, how the rooster pulls, pulls a feather out of the chicken and then at the back of the chicken and then that makes the, the, the baby come? I said, it's something like that. This little girl without missing a beat. I said, you know, I said, it's just when two, a man and a woman, I said, sometimes people go to the doctor and they, they have, you know, uh, something done so they can have a baby and I said yeah I'm going through the whole thing I said and then sometimes some mommies and daddies they get together and and then this other little girl without missing a beat goes <laughs> yeah my daddy pulls my mommy's hair and my brother came a few months later too and I was like oh my gosh you guys I was sweating bullets sweating bullets I was like Needless to say, needless to say, that was like an eventful day. So I get home and I'm like thinking, okay, I'm going to have to call all these parents. I know, right? This is me. I'm telling you. This is this. I told you. My life has been like this forever. You think it just happens to me here? It's much milder here than it is like now I just get the bird whisper. You know, <laughs> I get the bird whispering things. I don't get the, I get the banana got cracked my bumper. I don't get the, like where the babies come from and. What does sex have to do with it? I mean, no, I don't know what people tell their kids, you know. And the last thing is I want to be the information highway. So I get home and I, start, I call all these. Realize there's three other little girls besides my daughter in the back seat. Okay? So um, I get home and I call the parents. In which they are my, they are, they think it's just so funny. And, I, you know, but you never know. Like, you, you know what I mean? You could get somebody that's going to be, like, all mad at you. I said, if your child suddenly thinks that you get, you pull your hair to have a baby, just let you know where it came from, okay? Oh. Uh, 
Oh my lord, you guys. It's ridiculous. It is so ridiculous. It is so ridiculous. Hi, Renee! Oh, wow, Luana. That's like... That's crazy. Well, I haven't had that conversation. That That's like... If I'd had to have that conversation, that might have not worked for me. I, you know? Well, because you're a nurse. Yeah, well, I get it. I totally get it. I totally, totally get it. You're headed to the movies? What are you going to go see? Um, Sarita, I think, is, Sar is Sarita here? You're so awesome, Renee. That's so awesome. Thank you for being so generous. What are you going to go see at the movies? No. Fiona, you know what? It was just like, I don't even know why I even like, I have no idea why I even like said about the chicken thing. You know, like, I don't know. Because I guess I was thinking like, okay, eggs or I don't know. You know, I was like doing my own weird thing. I was just trying to figure it all out. You know, I was like, ah. I was like, why does this happen to me? This isn't for me. I don't want this. You know, it's just stuff. You guys, I, I can't even try. My life is like this no matter what, no matter what I do. You answered them honestly? Well, you're a nurse, Alana, and you also don't have the rigor of their parents, like, breathing down your neck and, and, and going to school with them. You know, I, I have to be who I am. I can't, it's not, I, you know, I was good with whatever happened, but it was still like, that was my ridiculousness, okay? That was my total ridiculousness. So what are you going to go see? I want to hear what you're going to go see at the movies, Renee. That's a good way, Frida. I, of course, this is like many years ago. My daughter's 25, so this is like 20 years ago. Mildred, you're not stupid. You, like you said, what did you tell me last week? I'm just naive, and you just don't think that way. I'm sorry, Fiona. I'm, I told you my life is like this. Sarita, I got your lovely email. I, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Hi, Jane. Welcome, welcome. Okay, so we're making our cards. We're going to make a few of them, and then we're going to make this really cool, which I'm excited about. So... I have to give a card, and you, you guys know what happened the last time I did my trashy card. Remember the whole trashy card fiasco where the lady said, oh, and look at what she made me a card out of trash, and she posted it in that group I'm in? Well, I have to send another card, and I, I want to show you what I'm making. It's inspired by inspired by Caged Fish, Carla. Did any of you guys go over and watch her, her stream this week? It was awesome. If you guys really want the nitty gritty of bookbinding or that sort of like amazing style bookbinding, head over and watch her. She like teaches you like some amazing cool cool stuff. So she teaches you. Bye Renee, have fun at the movies. You'll have to tell us what you saw. If you already said it, I missed it. Oh, you're right, Ash. Terminology does change through the years. Okay, lurkers, who's out there? Say hey. So, if you guys are still doing Yard Sale Heaven, go get your... Collect your playing cards. I'm just trying to trim her a little bit better, and it would have been better if I'd had some smaller scissors, which I do. I just don't have them in front of me. So, right now, it looks like she's got, like, some double chin going on because of the, uh, the, the background page. <laughs> oh, Scotty, that, that that's Luana. She brings up that. That was not me. I didn't say that. We did not talk about that. It was just... Anyway, I was just sharing with them how I got stuck in the back of a cab in New York City with four or five-year-olds asking me where babies came from. <laughs> so, anyway. Tell me... I want to hear what you guys are working on. Tell me about your week. Tell me what you're working on. I want to hear about it. I've been working on this card, and I, I'm going to show you, and then we're going to make them together because they're actually kind of fun. You guys give me some input about her. I like her, but I think it's better. 
I need to find a better background for her. What do you guys think? Is this one too much? Don't you think because she's in so much white that she needs to be on something colorful? Okay, so, hi Mary, hi Kathy. Okay, so what do you guys think? All right. Uh, you're working on a flip book? Oh, cool. Okay, do you guys like her on the pink one? Can you guys see it? Do you like her on the black and pink? The darker one looks good. Okay, do you like the black and pink? Or should I do the black and white? What do you guys think? Black and pink or black and white? Hi, Lisa. Okay, black and pink or black and white? So... You're painting snowman tags? Oh, Carla, please post them in the group. I want to see what they look like. Okay, lurkers, say hi. I love Posca pens. Those are like a little bit d addictive. Black and pink? Okay, black and pink. Right, how many? I got two black and pinks, two black and whites. She stands out on the black and pink. Okay, so I'll put her on the black and pink. Okay, so I've got three of my cards. So after I get my three done, who's making these cards with me? Who's making them? So I have her. I've got a few girls going on here. I need a... I need a... I just need a scrap piece of... Uh, I need a scrap piece of something here going on so I can do my gluing. You made a journal for your granddaughter this week for her 20th birthday, Lucinda? Oh, that's awesome! You're making them too? Oh, good, Renee. You finished nine? Woohoo! For a pocket letter? That's awesome. You're right, they do work for, perfect for a pocket letter. They are the perfect size for those those pockets if you're going to do it in one of those sleeves. And I made a few pocket letters. I was never that, because I don't have the same sort of... You know how everybody has all those really cool scrapbooking veneers and all that stuff I didn't have that stuff so you guys I really couldn't I felt bad because all I had was like trashy stuff you know I only had I only had um, I only had trash recycled stuff I only had recycled stuff so so I never really got, I never really did it to the extent of maybe what I could do it. You know? Put it this way, I never felt comfortable enough. Danina, yay! I'm so happy to see you! You just got done baking papers? Woo! And raspberry tea, that sounds good. Baking papers and, uh... You know what, though? Most people don't understand, unless you're in a group of people that really understand repurposing things. Like, that was my whole, my, that was my whole trash card. That's why, I'm waiting to see the new one I'm making. It's, it's still made out of trash, so everybody can make it, but it's just a little bit. I used, I was inspired by Carla, Caged Fish, and I went over to her channel, or I love to watch her. You're, like, you're you're taking it easy like a rich madam, Sarita. Good for you. Um, so, you know how... You know how... Um, I told you guys about my trashy card story. My trashy... I like her picture on there, though. I like the fact that she's not, like, totally perfect, too. So, you know my, my story about my trashy card, how I was in this in this swap and you know you had to make a handmade gift and then you also had to make a handmade card well I was like cool I love making cards but you know my way my way is like the recycled way I make it I mean they're not always that way but I like to use as much recycled material as possible so I use a brown paper bag or junk mail and paint it out and I leave it where you can still see that it was that because I think that's the whole point to it you know that's just me though and I told you guys my whole thing about catalogs I need some catalogs Scotty I don't have that's one thing I should, I, I will, thanks for that 
that reminder, I will get some catalogs. So I am, um, guys like my burnisher, the top of my glue stick. So these are my two right here that I made and then her. And I'm liking her on this blue, I think. I just don't know what side of it. So I told you guys my whole story about, you know, the lady like post in the group, oh, and Shelly makes stuff out of trash. And I don't, I think it was, you know, sort of to, I don't know, maybe she didn't mean it in an insulting way, but maybe that was just me, but I just took it that way. So this time I'm sending a different kind of card and that's what we're going to work on next, which I think, and I tell you, I'm a little bit addicted to it now that I've been make. I, now that I've tried it, I'm very addicted to it. And I think you guys will be too. And I think you'll be pleasantly surprised at how easy they come out and how nice they come out. And you'll be able to see the possibilities. And you could do it as a Christmas card too as well. You could do it as a birthday card, as a Christmas card. You could do it even, even as just pen pal mail or um, send it in a, you know, like a rack mail. Or you could send it to somebody that you work with. I mean, it's, it's sort of multi-purpose and... Yes, you can use recycling, but it's not as it's not as obvious. I love her. I love her face. I love this lady's face. What did you say, Danina? I missed it. Who said you're gonna try what? Oh no, Sarita, that sounds horrible. I didn't realize, I thought you were, I thought you were making some, uh, like a joke, like you were laying there waiting for somebody, I don't know, never mind. I missed that. I missed all of it. You know, sometimes the world doesn't feel really safe, you know? I, I really get it, because I sleep with my doors open, like, all my doors open. I mean, I lock my front door. But if you walk around the back, you could walk right into my room because I leave I, every bedroom in our house opens up, the patio opens up to the back. Each one has a, a sliding glass door and, you know, they only have screens on them, you know? Scotty, what's the name of the magazine that you mentioned? Oh, Sarita, I'm sending you some love and some prayers, that's for sure. It's definitely. So, I want you guys to think, I want you guys to think about, like, what you guys want to work on. I have so many, I have my bucket list. I have my crafty bucket list. It is hard to craft and talk and read all the comments, and you guys are talking so fast. Did you guys see that really funny post Susan put in our Facebook group where it says this is what the chat looks like when it's lit up and it was the cat that was like doing the crazy thing? Yeah, like doing it as fast as possible. So I want you guys to think about what you want to work on. I mean, I really do. I want you to think about what you want to work on and I'll put it in the mix. If there's something specific that you have on your on your wish list of things that you want to work on, I can certainly... If it, I can certainly I'm not going to do something I haven't done before unless I practice a little bit because, you know, but I can try. Like, I'm not, I'm not going to knit. I'm not going to knit or do anything like that. It'd have to be, like, more paper or jewelry or random crafting. You got out your deck of cards and you're making, you're making with you ladies. Awesome. Awesome. I'm really digging these cards. You know, I'm, like, digging them. Did you see the one Scotty did? They're fabulous. She did some fabulous cards. Okay, fabulous. Okay, here's my here's my ones that don't have any words, and let me see what words I have for them. I may not have anything. I have bold and edgy. I have angel. I have gifted. I said we're really making a difference. That doesn't really go with her. But she needs like I may not even have the right words. I do have a word box somewhere. You want to make one of my books? What kind of books, Danina? Tell me and I'll, I'll happily make one if I know how to make it. 
Susan, I will make you some painty papers. Would you stop it? I will make you some painty papers. I will make you some painty papers. I will send you a rack of painty papers. <laughs> um, Lucinda says she harvested paper from them that you've had for a long time. Oh, good, good, good. Currently you're using news adverts. Isn't that fun? Are, are you not like having fun, Jane, using news adverts? I, I love it. Yeah, I can make paper fabric. If you guys want to do paper fabric, let's totally do that. Janina, what kind of book do you want to do? Will you tell me? I'm happy to do it. You want to do an art journal page? We can totally do that. Right? Did, who knew, right, Jane? Who knew painting on your sale inserts and flyers? And the cool thing about it is it makes it so thin. You can add layer upon layer upon layer upon layer. Carrie, I love the junk journal that you made. I thought it was awesome, and I like the pictures you said. Painty papers are so fun to make, can I tell you? You made an envelope out of one? It's addictive, yeah? Danina, tell me what kind of book you want. What were you, what book were you, which one? I'm happy to make any book with you guys. I love to do that, you know? We could make some, hi Sandy. We could totally do some steampunk and grunge. Anne said that she signed up for the Victorian Trading Company catalog. Oh, that's really cool. Hey Anne, you should post it in our group. You know? Post it in our group and, uh, and let me know. If you let me know which book you're talking about, Danina, I'll put it on my list. Okay? Please post your meander books. That's awesome. Oh, the one that has the hidden pocket in the back? Okay, we can totally do that. But in order to do it, you guys need a hardback book. It doesn't matter what size it is, but you need a hardback book. And you need, um, you don't need a Rambo knife. You don't need a Rambo knife. Get one of these, like, thin knives. Okay, what is... I'm sorry, I missed it. Shelly, do I have any ideas for using wallpaper? Question from Lucinda. Lucinda, you can use wallpaper the same way you do any other paper. I have a big stack of wallpaper... I told you guys my ridiculous wallpaper books story. Where I... You know, this lady posted, Oh, I'm going to give away a few piece of pay, books of wallpaper, and I got but you, but the catches, you have to take them all, and then I get there, and it's like... 300 of them yes you guys please give me a thumbs up I appreciate that thanks thanks Lynn thanks Lynn Lynn has been back okay Lucinda says they have the neatest images in the in the Victorian catalog is that what you're talking about hey lurker say hi say hi 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 I have used wallpaper as die cuts. I have used wallpaper as pockets. I've used them as pages in my journals. I have, Kiki, am I concerned about acid and any of the items in my journals? Kiki, absolutely not. I am gonna tell you why. You're not gonna keep them for 100 years. And most things that are not acid free, I mean, chances are if you use your journal um, if you use your journal, you're going to, it's going to be an ongoing process, right? And then you're going to go to the next one and go to the next one. I, 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 I bet your, your journals will outlive any sort of, I love this picture, but I think it's a guy. Even though it was a woman in a woman's fashion magazine, I think it's a guy. So that's why I haven't cut it out. Victorian Trading Company. Okay, so will one of you guys put in our Facebook group? For those of you that haven't joined our Facebook group, it's called Crafting Mamas. You don't have to be a paper crafter. You can just have to either want to learn how to craft or be any kind of crafter. You know, anything. We've got some really diverse people. Glass blowers. There's a lady that makes beautiful glass perfume bottles. Did you guys see those? Those were stunning. Crocheters. We have, it's a dude, right? But I love the picture, so I'm going to have to save that for something else. So I just need words for my for my cards, but if I don't find them, it's okay. I, I still have, but I'm liking the ladies so far. I'm liking the ladies so far. 
I'm totally liking them. I'm liking how they're turning out. I'm liking the, the stuff. How do I know there's lurkers? Because at the bottom it'll tell you how many people are watching. And there's probably only about, I don't know, 20 of you talking. And so there's like 50 some odd people watching. Carrie said she found some sticky paint papers from Walmart and they're really cool. You mean the paint samples? So Anne, for me it just tells me, I'm on a live feed page and it tells me how many people are watching. But on, on the bottom you can see how many people, like if you look right underneath the chat to the left, you can see how many people are walking, watching. You've been chatting with your daughter Linda, awesome. How are you Linda? We're happy you're here. Um, okay, so I might, I'm going to move on to the card because that's going to take a little bit of time and I'll work on these a little bit more. So we'll just know every time we're going to do a live stream, either on a Tuesday or a Friday, we're going to do a couple of these cards. We're just going to just make them together and you're listening and chuckling along, Renee. Thanks. I appreciate it. You know, I'm glad I'm good for a laugh, you guys. I'm so glad I'm good for a laugh. I laugh at myself. I was just trying to think of like what... Guys, the stuff that happens to me happens to me all the time. If you guys find it funny, but for me, it's my life. So it's just like ridiculous. It's just so ridiculous. But I'm loving these cards. I'm loving them. I'm going to really enjoy using them. You're cutting out images, Vicky. You're not lurking. Did you guys see the response I've gotten in our Facebook group? So we have like all of a sudden like 1,300 members. I mean, so we have like 1,300 members. And I want to know where they came from. And so some of them, and also too, we've gotten some edgy people in there. And trust me, I try to go through all four of the people that are working, or three of the, the ladies, Dee, Susan, and Ash, and myself, are always going through because we want it to be a really safe place for everybody to put out whatever they're doing. And so I put in the post, okay, lurkers, because I'm saying lurkers because this is what I say to you guys here, like, okay, lurkers, say hi, right? said, okay, Lurkers, who wants to stay? Because I'm doing housekeeping. I'm not going to delete anyone that really wants to stay. But if if no one's posted and then they, and you know, it's just, I just want it to be a really safe group. So did you see the response I got? Like, I don't know. There's probably 25 or 30 of you that post regularly in our group, right? But we've had 300 people say, comment on the lurking thing, which I thought was very interesting. You're still laughing at the lady in the bird poop. Oh, my God. Carla. It's ridiculous. You know, I just gotta let it be. I haven't run into her. Although I did see her, but then I ran the other way. Because can I tell you, you guys, sometimes I just can't deal. I don't want to deal. Okay? So I'm gonna move on to the card. But before I move on to the card, I wanted to show you. I promised you guys I would show you. We were talking about paper feathers. So here's one of the... I can't find the bag of them. You guys, I made a ton of them. So here's one of the ones that I made from a jelly print and magazines. Okay? And with uh, that telephone wire, somebody gave me a bag of that. Remember when they used to put these kind of wires to your telephone and they, you would get like a big coil of it or whatever? So this was my, one of my feathers made from... Um, what do I look to... Yes, the barking dog, that the, the lady with the barking dog who asked me to tell the birds in nature to poop somewhere else. You guys, some days I just can't deal. I really can't. Um, you know, that's awesome, Kiki. I'm glad you have a Facebook group that's inclusive of all crackers. Vicki, you know what I like to le leave out is, like, people that are looking to sell, because you'll see it's a little bit subtle. Like, we've, we try to delete the posts as they come up. Um... We try to delete them as they come up because then what happens is then they'll start texting people or messaging people and yes Jane she thought I was very powerful it's ridiculous so I just go through and we just weed it out every now and then um, sometimes people belong to hundreds of groups you know so I missed what do we oh my goodness thing for Susan pictures of their pockets. Oh my goodness. Oh, Vicki. Oh my god. If you guys haven't watched Pocket Man, the video Pocket Man, go back and watch it. Okay? 
That was like, you guys, can I tell you, I live, I think I am probably just so naive. And like the most naive person, right? So you guys can make these feathers. They're super easy. This is out of magazine pages, jelly printed. It was like one magazine page, jelly printed, and then I folded it in half. And, you know, where the papers came together, I stuck a whole bunch of, of these telephone wires out of it. And then I, you know, burnished it down. And then I cut it out. And then I went back and I'll try to find all of them. I made them out of magazine pages, though, because remember everybody was making them out of washi tape and whatever. And you know me, as long as it can be trashy, I'm good to go. All right. I'm excited about my card. All right. This is the Carla Caged Fish Inspired card. Okay, so this is what it's going to look like, but it's going to be made from junk mail, and I haven't sewn it together, but what do you guys think? It's, a, it's an accordion. It's an accordion card. Can you see it? So this is inspired by Caged Fish, and if you guys haven't watched her, if you haven't watched her channel, go on over. I'll put, before we, or after this video is up, I'll put a link to her channel. She live streams every Tuesday, uh, 2 p.m. Eastern time. Okay? So, but I'm going to show you mine. Okay? So this is kind of cool. So what you do is you fold it like an accordion. And this one I kind of overboard stamped on the inside with just some random stamps. But this is what it's going to look like. But let me show you what I did out of, I, don't you love Carla? She's awesome, and I love her, and I learned a lot from her, and she's just so loving and giving. Okay, so here's what I'm sending my lady, my the lady that I have, or what I'm working on. I'm kind of in love with it, so I don't know if I have to make another one to send it to her because I'm in love with it. Okay, so here we go. You guys, like, look. This is what I made out of my junk mail, and I'm in the process of sewing it together. This is what I made from my Painty Pages and my junk mail. So we're going to make ours from Painty Pages and junk mail. Okay, now I didn't stamp a bunch of stuff inside of it, and then I have to put the sides on it, and I have to sew it together. It's not that difficult of a make, but this is like a step up from my trashy card, don't you think? Thanks, Vicki. I like it. This is junk mail. Can you see the back? Junk mail. You can see it. Junk mail. It's junk mail with painty pages. It's junk mail with bits of paper, and I'm like so in love with it, you guys. I'm like getting into it. This is another one that I made, and I'm like getting into it. I'm like into it. So I'm going to send her one of these. This is, so I will put a link to the video in the bottom. Isn't it cool? I did not make it up. Carla showed us how to make them. I just made my version out of trash. She makes hers. No, it's not a sewing machine. You just sew it with a, a two, with a needle and a piece of thread, okay? Yes, this is junk mail. I'm like into the junk. You guys know me. I'm the junk mail person. I can't help myself. Okay? I just can't help it. I cannot help it. Don't they look like cathedral windows? So do you think that if she, do you think that the lady that's going to get this, if she gets it in the mail, you think she's going to go, and my friend made me a junk mail card. But wouldn't you be so thrilled if you got something like this in the mail? I would. Okay. Bye, Kiki. Maybe we'll see you next week on Tuesday. Okay. We're going to make this accordion card, Susan. This is what we're making out of junk mail. Okay. Or you can make it out of scrapbooking paper. Like, look, this is the one that I made super tiny. I, I haven't finished it yet. In fact, we could finish the tiny one. I could. We could start over. This one's, I think, out of a 6x6 six six piece of scrapbook paper. You know? And I just stamped on the inside. I took my stamps to it, stamped on the inside. Because you need something for them to look through at the in the window. I don't know. Can you guys see this? See you soon, Kiki. Thanks for joining us. We're happy you came. Okay. So this is my Caged Fish Carla inspired. Um, so get your junk mail out. You know, and, and you can make this with scrapbooking paper too. Okay. I, I want you to know you can make it with scrapbooking paper. But we might as well make it all together. And, you know, I'm sorry. I'm just laying my stuff down over here that this is what I'm this is you know because I told you guys I have to send a card to that lady so this is what I'm doing I've been making mine out of junk mail Wait. yeah get your stamps you can do whatever Fiona the sides of it ha make like a book 
Okay, so you could write your sentiment on the outside of the side. You could put it in the windows in the back if you wanted to. If you wanted to put it in the cathedral windows, you could write it in. You just have to know where it's going to fold. So let's just start making it together. And what you need to, to make it is either scrap of paper or I'm going to make mine from junk mail, but you guys don't have to make yours from junk mail. You know, I every week, even though I repeat myself like a like a ridiculous person, every week I get, do I have to make mine out of junk mail? No, you don't. These are going to be the ends of it. So it's going to open and close like an accordion. All right? And you can write your sentiment. Like you can write your sentiment on the outside here if you wanted to on the outside. You're not lurking your painting, Mildred. How's your new house, Mildred, by the way? You can put the sentiment anywhere you want. I think homemade's the best, too, Danina. I totally agree with you 100 trillion million percent. So this is my Carlin's, because I had to make a card, I was like doing it, and then I was like so into it that I was like, oh my god, I have to like bring my gals on there. Okay, so this is a, <coughs> a three-fold flyer, okay, that came in the mail, okay, this is what I'm going to use, all right? You need two pieces that are going to be the same size. It doesn't matter what size they are. They have to just be the same size. Okay. So I'm just going to cut mine apart. I'm going to cut all three pieces apart. You can make it out of the junk mail postcards that you have. You can make it out of scrapbook paper. Okay. You can make it out of what? You can make it out of a brown bag. You could make it out of doesn't matter what you make it out of. This one's not super heavy. I've made it, one of those is made out of a really heavy piece. One of those is made out of like this heavy of a piece. You know this, that, and one of them is made out of uh, this exact flyer. So for some reason they gave us like three. Hi Sherry, how are ya? Okay, so uh, just because, now this is my disclaimer, just because I am in love with making things from junk mail. Please do not feel like you have to be in love with making things from junk mail, okay? You can make it any way you want, all right? Any way you want. So, I'm in love with making it from junk mail. You don't have to be in love with making it from junk mail, okay? You don't have to be in love with junk mail as much as I am. It's not that I'm so in love with junk mail, it's just that I just don't see the point if I can use this as a base for something I'm making. Does that make sense? Okay, they just have to be the same size. You don't have to get all, like, freaked out about it. Okay? Now, if you're going to put down painting papers, if you're going to paint any paper over the whole thing, you don't have to paint it. Um, I'm thinking... Did I paint this? I painted one side of it after I had already made it, but I don't think I painted this side. I think I just did painting papers. I mean, I think I just did collage papers. So, you guys know I have a stack of collage papers going on over here, and I'm just gonna, maybe I'll, hmm, maybe I will paint it a little bit. You know me, I can't, I'm indecisive, girls. I'm indecisive. Indecisive today. I don't know what I can tell you guys how my week's been. My week was actually, it's been actually pretty good. I haven't had anything, knock on wood, anything too, too ridiculous. I haven't had the bird lady. I haven't had, I'm sorry, this is my paint palette. You guys, for those of you that's the first time joining me, I try to repurpose and reuse things that will end up in a landfill. So my palette is a plastic lid from, I don't know what, yogurt, I think. So... You guys, we will eventually make our snowflakes. I just have to get the autofocus on. I just get... I can zoom when I'm not live streaming. When I'm live streaming, the zoom doesn't work. So, <clears throat> I don't know if it's a setting on my computer, but either way, I'm working on it to figure it out. So, we'll still make that. So, if you guys got your beads, and we could also do those little boxes, the ones I showed you that I made. So you don't have to use, and I use a credit card to paint with. Somebody pointed out to me the other day that they've never seen me use a paintbrush, which is not true. I have paintbrushes. I don't know why. I, I actually use a gift card. I like it better. Don't ask me why. And the other thing that I like, too, 
Let me find it. I brought it over here with me, but I don't see it now. I like to paint on book pages. I like to use book pages. I like to use um, as my drop cloths as well. So as I'm painting, I can get as messy as I want, and that's how it works. So for those of you that hadn't said hi, jump in and say hi. Say hey. We don't bite. We can see that you're here. We just can't see who you are. So I'm just going to put this down as my drop cloth because I may want to use these at the end. <clears throat> this is a great way to use those pages that are fra too fragile to... Um, they're too fragile to use otherwise. Okay? That's all. And I'm using super cheap paint. Sarita says she paints with her fingers. Hey, Lisa. Welcome. We're happy you're here. Um, I will tell you my favorite new card to use is a Starbucks card. You know, the Starbucks gift, card, gift cards that people give you? I like those. I like them. I only paint them one side at a time. I'm not going to paint both sides, so I'm going to paint this side, and it's not going to be perfect. It just want to cover up some of the dark colors because maybe when I put my papers down, I'm going to do one page at a time. Maybe when I put my pages down, it won't um, it won't completely cover it up. You know what I mean? When I put the and I use a glue stick, so for all of those, I wouldn't necessarily use a wet glue on this, and I use a permanent glue stick. And right now, all those glue sticks are on sale because of the back to school, at least in the U.S. If you guys are somewhere else, I can't, um, I can't vouch for it. So what are you guys going to do for the weekend? Does anybody have any big weekend plans? Does anybody have any big weekend plans? What are you going to do? You want to get your paint super thin. Now, if you have a jelly pr plate, you could jelly print on this too. You know, this is probably like the thickness of a of a of a magazine page, like a thicker magazine page, like a magazine cover. You know, although it becomes sort of floppy when you start painting on it. Okay, I'm gonna let that one dry. I'm gonna go to the next one. You don't do weekends, or you don't get weekends. Um, hi, Valerie. We're making a, an accordion book. We're making like, well, it could be a book or I'm making it like a card. You know, I'm making a, and I'll show it to you in just a second. Let me just paint this one side out and I'll, and I'll do it. And we're painting it. If it's dry, you work on your pond. I saw your rock stuff. That was like pretty cool, Anne. When you have your own business. When you own your own business, you don't get the weekends. I get that. You're going to watch Michelle on the weekend, Sherry? Awesome. I know I missed her live stream today, too. You guys, I am six hours behind you guys, so if you're on the East Coast. So for me, it could be super early, and then by the time I get up and get myself rolling and do all my stuff, I've missed stuff that you guys are doing in the day. You're helping your daughter with a catering event? Oh, that sounds like fun. That sounds like a lot of fun, actually. Work. But, I mean, getting to spend time with your daughter is good. Eva says, this is what she calls a bunny weekend. You get together on Sunday. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> what are you talking about? How bad your craft room is? What happened? What happened to your craft room? Okay, ladies, give me one second. I'll be right back. Talk amongst yourself. I'll be right back. Give me two seconds. It's Friday. You're going to have yeah, coffee. Yeah, I'm, okay. I'm, I'm still live streaming. I'm sorry, guys. I had to. I wanted to go make sure Hottie was up. He he went to lay back down because he has to be to work, and it's Friday. And you know, I told you guys, one lane in, one lane out. You know, the two lane highway. Now I save all these painting papers just like it is, and and I do go and clean my painting cards at some point. Okay, so 
I may use these as my, and I like these yellowing book pages. Was it you? Who was it? I was telling you guys my obsession with, with uh, paperbacks or whatever because they make really good, um, the paint, the pages are fragile and, and yellowing. You're organ trying to organize your craft room, Sandy. Hey, I'm just going to turn on my heat gun for a few seconds. You, you want to hear about my cooking? Oh my god, my cooking. Sarita, your sister-in-law is having a birthday party? That's awesome. You, Sandy's going to organize her craft room. Lisa says that she hosts a cocktails and craft party three times a year with friends. That sounds fun. You're having a birthday party, Jane? Oh, that sounds fun. I love birthday parties. You didn't even hear about my heat gun, Jane? Oh my god. You guys don't know about this heat gun? So my heat gun died. You know, like a regular heat gun? Like a regular, this one is like a, anyway, so, so I don't know if it was for my birthday or for, it was for Christmas, I don't remember you guys, we don't really do gifts, I mean, we do handmade gifts, we don't really do, like, bought gifts, so, how do you said, what do you want for your, whatever it was, birthday or Christmas, I don't remember, and I said, I wanted a new heat gun, my heat gun died, you guys, this is what he bought me. Do you see this? This is like a digital heat gun. It goes up to like, look at this. It has like a temperature. What does the average heat gun go to? The average heat gun goes to what? 200 degrees or something? There, are, if that, this one goes up to 1100 degrees, you guys. Do you see it has like a, a, a thing here? This is like, this is like, this is like what a man buys. This is like a man tool, okay? <laughs> I use it every day and I'm grateful for it. But I have to make sure that nobody's messed with it because you can really, you can peel your skin off with this. Okay? This is ridiculous. Yes. So, there you go. That's my, that's my manly heat gun. Okay? My manly, ridiculous heat gun. Okay, start gluing your painting papers, girls. And we're going to glue them with a glue stick. Now, the one thing I will tell you about this, so who is it that asked what we're doing? This is what we're making, you guys. We're making one of these accordion cards, and this is just the card in pieces. It's not totally finished yet. We have to sew it. You need a needle and thread. You sew it in, like, a few places. Just tack it, and then you need ends. Anyway, it's a whole process. What I will tell you is that the front layer should be, if you're going to do it like me, okay? <laughs> A hair dryer is perfect, Anne. You don't need that ridiculousness that I have. Oh no, you work 13 hours, Lisa? That's crazy. So whoever asked... Oh my god. I could totally cook. I could cook a turkey for Thanksgiving with that gun. You're absolutely right, Susan. Oh my god, that's so ridiculous. You're absolutely right. Okay, so the one thing I will tell you is that if you want to stamp some images on the inside... Like, say you, say you decide you want to do your stamping, okay, on the inside. Don't make, you don't want both of the pages, both of the papers to be really busy. Because there would be no room for you to stamp on the inside. Okay? So, I'm just letting you know, so, when you're laying your painting papers down, or when you're making your collage bits, or whatever you're going to, however you're going to do it, you want to make one, one of your two pieces less busy than the other, okay? That's just my 411. That's just what I've learned, okay? That, that, and I don't really know, because this is not really my process. This is really just all inspired from Carla, because I didn't want, I didn't want to, I didn't want to see another thing that, where it says that I, like, made a trash, I enjoy making trash cards, but I just didn't want to see, like, in the group that I'm in, that my trash card was, you know what I mean. It would definitely, I could fry some eggs with it. It would make some crispy skin. You're absolutely right. It's ridiculous. So ridiculous. I'm using a permanent glue stick, ladies, because if you add any stuff afterwards, you don't want to add water. Like, I say I decide I want to water, I want to 
want to uh, watercolor paint afterwards on my card. If you if you've used a water based paint, I mean a water based glue, like a you know how you can buy the school glue sticks or whatever. If you've used that, you're not going to be able it, it they'll peel up. Okay. It, I'm sure you all know that because you're all experienced crafters. So what? I'm missing it. What did you get? You know what? Okay, the only reason to have a, a, something hotter than a hairdryer is if you want to use embossing powder. Do any of you guys use embossing powder? Now that's like an old scrapbooking thing. And remember before, like all these embossing folders and what have you, you used to you used to stamp with embossing ink, and then you would, um, you know, put the embossing powder on it and it would make a raised surface. So you need it. You need it hotter than a hairdryer if you're going to do that. That's all. Okay. I don't know if. I don't know. I'm going to kind of do my collage this time larger, just for time's sake. Danina says she loves trash art, and last night she painted comics. Oh, out of the newspaper, loving it. And can't tell you where it's going yet, but it's going. And I, I, I like that too, and I love to paint book pages. But I'm just saying, so, you know, hi, Laurel. Oh, I'm sorry, Laurel. You know what? It happens to me, too. I went the other day, I don't know who was on, and I was like, oh, great, I'm going to get to see them. And then by the time I clicked over, like it showed live, you know, but by, by the time I clicked over, they were gone. So, you know, I can't figure out the whole Facebook thing. I'm not, I don't want to say I'm technologically impaired, but I am when it comes to, like, trying to figure out stuff. But you didn't miss anything, Laurel. So I'm just going to make mine, I'm collaging mine larger than maybe I did on my other pieces just because of time's sake and, you know, that sort of thing. So that's why you need it. That's the reason you need a heat gun, though, Anne, is for a, a really strong heat gun is for embossing powder. Okay, it won't work with a hairdryer. It needs to be, what is it, 200 degrees or something? These are all my painting papers that I made with those inks that I like. You know, the, the, the inks from um, Lindy Stamp Gang. Which I'm not an affiliate, so please don't I want to hear it from anybody. I'm not advertising them, I'm just telling you. Because inevitably, whenever you, have, whenever you work and have anything on a live stream, somebody's going to send you a question. Even though you may have totally said it ten times in the stream, they're going to ask you the question. That's just how it rolls, ladies. That's how it rolls. I will tell you because you're folding this up and you're bending it, bigger pages is better. Because, you know, you don't know, unless you folded it, I guess, ahead of time, you don't know where your creases are going to be. So, and I didn't fold mine ahead of time. It probably is easier if you do, but I didn't. Okay? So, there you go. But this is a really fun way, because remember we've been making all those altered books. This is a really fun way to use your book blocks. Okay? And I'm just using my my plastic card. If you had a bone folder, you could use that. Just to make sure there's... I try to get the bubbles out of the... It's not that important, but... Well, I started out kind of neat. It doesn't look neat now. Are you lurkers that are out there? Say hey! We always love to meet new people. And I think we're one of the nicest groups around. I don't think anyone here would would be any would treat you. They would all think that you're fabulous and, and want to know everything about you too. So say hey. You guys, I try to make them at the same time, especially if I'm making these painting papers, because I, I like mine to kind of coincide. So especially because I don't have like a ton of each paper. So like, you know, so that... They're sort of, they're not going to be exactly the same, and one of them is going to be lighter than the other one, but just so that I have, so they match in color. It's all my fault that you're excited about junk mail. I'm sorry. Because I love junk mail. I was in some group. I don't remember what group it was. I'm not in the group anymore, because, but I don't remember. I was in a group where people said, where somebody was, like, saying, um, you know, that they, 
they were all talking about how to get rid of their junk mail. Like, they were all like, oh, and our junk, this junk mail, and they were just on and on about the junk mail. And I was like, so I don't get enough junk mail. And they were like, what? So I make art with my junk mail. I said, every time a piece of junk mail comes to my house, I look at it like free art supplies. And they were like, they were like, you're just the weirdest person. I said, but if you're an artist and you don't want to spend a lot of money and you want to practice or try some stuff out without like investing a lot in, um, investing a lot of money in something, why not? Right? Why not? Why not? Why not? But I am in love with those Lindy Stamp Gang Inks. I am. And those magicals. Did anybody catch Dee Dee Willingham the other day? I put it, I posted it in the Facebook group so that in case anybody wanted to watch her. She just did... I, I don't know how she decides her last minute streams. Because she usually streams when I'm asleep, you guys. She usually streams at like 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning my time, which is like... I don't know. What time is it your time? So 3 o'clock would be like 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And so, I missed the cool idea, Jane. You have to repost it. I just hear, that's cool, that's cool, cool idea, and I missed it. So whatever it is, repost it so I can see it. So she was painting with her magicals. Ash says, from Jane, Jane, your mail, your mail carrier retired? Oh, she made, Jane made her mail carrier who retired Made her a junk mail book. She had delivered every piece. Oh my god, Jane. That is so... You know what? That is so sentimental. That is so sentimental. Jane, I love that idea. That is so nice. I bet you, I bet you she appreciated it. But all I was going to tell you was that Dee Dee did her live stream, this or her stream on Ustream. She streams live on Ustream, you guys. Um... She did, used her magicals. And so for whoever was asking me last week or the week before about magicals, go and watch any Dee Dee Willingham thing. So magicals are this same thing as these sprays, right? Made by the same company. When they dry, they become waterproof. So you could paint over them and you can paint in layers. But they mix with water. So they're a pigment. The night is starting over? What? I'm missing it. I don't know what you're talking about. See, that's what happens when you try to glue and you try to glue and chat at the same time. It doesn't always work. Gluing and chatting does not always work. So, I will tell you, glue it over, glue a little bit overhanging. See how I'm letting it overhang? I'm going to trim it off, but it's better to, to glue it and let it overhang your junk mail then to not put enough on. Okay? That's just what I think. That's my that's my big tip. Woo! That is my tip tip tip. A big tip. Good night Anne. I hope you have a wonderful night. Jane, it is hard to keep up with the chat and do anything. So, you know, if you're just watching, what you can do is you can chat. But if you want to, like, um, just listen and then pipe in when you see. I'll try to read some of the questions um, so then you know. It's hard for me to keep up with the chat. <coughs> I can't keep up with it at all. <clears throat> magicals are like um I bought some I don't have them in here though they're in my garage and I stole my thing but I did start really doing my calamari guys I've jumped in Ugh, I did a whole bunch of it yesterday and can I tell you it was painful but I did it I purged a lot because I want to get my space back in order and I want to do it soon 
And so I purged a lot. Um, Magicals are a pigment. They're made by Lindy Stamp Gang. They are a pigment that is a water. They're, they, you, they're just like little powder, right? And then you add them, you add a little water to it, and they become really these vibrant colors that you see here. And then once they dry, they become waterproof. So then you could paint layers over them. So it's kind of like a watercolor, but a permanent watercolor. Okay, but I think they're just a pigment base. They're probably acrylic base, but you can layer over them. So if you if you have the chance to go over and watch Dee Dee Willingham, do it. I love. I always enjoy watching her. I always learn a lot from her. Um, I need a piece here, and then I'm going to put that. Maybe I'm going to do some blanker pages, some wider pages. I always learn a lot from her, and she. She loves him, and she's the one that turned me on to him, and she's the whole reason why, so I can blame her. I can blame her. I can blame her. I can blame Dee Dee. Dee Dee is the reason. She's the enabler. She... Anyway, I love watching her. If you guys haven't taken the time to go watch her, she is fabulous. Fab. Fabulous. Fabulous. She's really fabulous, and I love watching her. So if you guys have any old novels, especially those old, re old Reader's Digests, that those old Reader's Digest that are, you know, you can't really use the book pages because the book pages are too fragile, this is a great way to use them. And I like them because they're a little bit yellowed. I don't have any helpers, you guys. I need some helpers. I probably should. But you know what? It's fine. It's better for me because then I can get in my own zone. I can get in my own zen and I can see, like, what's going on. I just look up every now and then. And that's why if you do it in all caps, I see it. Yes, Sherry, she is on YouTube. But she, if you want to chat with her live, the only time to live chat her is if you go over to... Um, Ustream. She streams live on Ustream and then she uploads her live on YouTube. I mean, she uploads her videos on YouTube. So that's really the only way to see. But I, I really enjoy her. I learn a lot from her. I think that she's worth a, a look. Well, it's worth... Sherry, if, it, if it's something, go and watch her. And if you like what you see, or if you find yourself like me, who I like the option of the... I really like the option of of painting on it after it's you know I mean of the layering thing then um, you know then it might be something you'd be interested in I don't know can you get them at Hobby Lobby I don't know because I don't have a Hobby Lobby where I am so I can't get anything at Hobby Lobby I cannot get anything at Hobby Lobby but if you have a Hobby Lobby I bet you, you can get them there with your coupons. I've only ordered mine. I ordered mine from Create and Craft and I ordered them when they were on sale. But then we had this whole conversation last week because, you know, somebody pointed out the shipping was whatever, but the way I figured it is, is they're normally like $20 a set and they were like, they were running a $5 special on them for five, for five, uh, For five little pots of them, because they come in fives, they come in groups of five. And then the shipping was like $7 or $8. So I figured, you know what, if I was going to pay $20 for them anyway, I can try them for five and then pay the... You know what I mean? Pay the, the shipping. It, would, it, would, it ended up being cheaper anyway. Paid $12 for something that would have cost me 20 plus shipping. You know what I mean? Uh, calamari, Valerie saying calamari for her. She's trying to decide what she wants, what she doesn't want, and actually getting rid of it because somebody else would want it. You know what, Valerie? I'm there too. I am so there. I am so, so there. I am so there. I am so there. I mean, 
You know, I did it too. I, I went through and I, and I started, I really did a deeper purge. I had already purged a bunch of stuff, but I went and I did a deeper purge or what I would call a deeper purge. I went through and I, um, I really let go of a bunch of stuff. I mean, I had already done it, but I took, I have boxes and boxes of books to go to the thrift store. And, or, you know, I've, I've also offered them to my friends that make mixed media art too. And, you know, I, I've offered them. I've offered them to my friends that make, mi mi that make mixed media art. I've offered them to, they'll take whatever else I don't need to the thrift store. And I'm going to let them go. So now I'll get new ones. You got them, Danina? I mean, I love them. They're amazing, right? The Magicals? They're, like, amazing. I don't... I think... Aren't they, like... What is the other brand that's similar to Magicals, Danina? Can you tell me what it is? Because I can't think of it off the top of my head right now. It's, like, um... Oh, my gosh. You guys, what is it called? Um... I don't know. If you guys go on YouTube and you, and you Google Magicals and you Google Magicals and you Google, um... Magicals and or something like it, it'll tell you the other. Oh my gosh, Lynn, my calamari is like not. Oh my god. So I just, I decided I'm gonna do other rooms in my house, and then that'll motivate me to do. That'll motivate me to do more. You bought the sprays six months ago, and they're still in the package. Make the sprays. They're like so easy. You just mix them with warm water. Yeah, I have, the ones that I really like are those ones that are, um, they have like the flat ones, they're called Flat Fabio, which doesn't have any, any, any sparkle, and then they have the ones that are my favorite, which I can't think of the name of them, what are they called, you guys? Do I have a bottle here? Flat Fabio doesn't have any, they make three kinds, one of them's called like, Starburst, right, Starburst Sprays, is that what it is? Is that what you said it was? And that one has, um, that one has some pigment in it. Like, that one has some, I mean, that one has some spray, uh, that one has some sparkle in it. So they have that one. And then they have some that the flat Fabios don't have any sparkle in them. And then they have another one, which I can't think of what it is. Susan says she doesn't craft, she buys. You're so crazy. Ash is saying primary elements from color art is similar. So there you go. There's also another one that's much more famous than either one of those. Ash is saying Tattered Angels also has magicals too. They have the pigments, the dry pigments too. Hi, Marcy. How are you? So I'm almost done with this side of my card or my collaging my gluing bits and then I'll show you guys how I folded it and then I'll go, see you later sweetheart, um, he is heading to work you guys, Hadi has left the building, he is heading to work, Fridays are, are, are Fridays are like a love-hate relationship here because people are used to Friday, like when they come for a vacation, being something like more than it is here. So, I don't know. I can't even describe it to you guys. It's like one of those things you just have to experience, you know? So, Perfect Pearls, is that it? That it could be it too. You guys, there's so many, you guys are laughing at me, Flat Fabio. I didn't make it up. That's the name of their flat ones that don't have sparkle in them. You guys are ridiculous. You guys are so, Crafty Joy, I think you're right. Perfect Pearls. I think you're absolutely right. I'm welcome, Crafty Joy, because I didn't see you earlier, and I'm sorry. The more I say, the more you laugh. You guys are talking about me or somebody else. What have I said? I haven't said anything. Hi, Pam. Oh, no. Oh, Pam, I'm so 
sorry about your daughter. I'm glad she's coming home from the hospital today. Oh, sending her prayers, sending her love. That is, that, ugh, that's not good. I hope you're, are you guys laughing at me? Flat Fabio jazz saxophone player. Okay, you guys, look. They're called Flat Fabio. Okay, see, look. Flat, F-L-A-T-T, -T, Fabio. Flat Fabio. You guys are ridiculous. It's really called that, Flat Fabio. Oh my gosh, you guys are ridiculous. Making, you, you know. Okay. It's okay. I'm breathing in, inhaling. So what's kind of cool is if you think that you might want to make these in the future, like if you go, oh, this would be fun, make yourself a bunch of these like serendipity style papers on your junk mail or on whatever you're going to use it on. And I'm really glad your daughter's better too, Pam. That's like really, that's like, you guys are so ridiculous. Flat Fabio. You know, I didn't make it up. I did not make it up. Okay. <laughs> You guys, if I was going to make it up, I'd think of something better than Flat Fabio. You know? You know, have you ever thought about that, like, products? Like, what do people think when they're, like, naming products? Like, they're sitting around with the marketing team. Let's call it Flat Fabio. That's going to get those girls. That, that, that's going to get those girls. They're going to they're gonna be like, <laughs> Flat Fabio. Yeah, they're going to run and buy it. I know you guys are having fun with me. Are you kidding? My life is like this, you guys. You guys heard my kids. They make fun of me all the time. Okay? All the time. All the time they make fun of me. And it's all good. Okay, these are kind of the same. But not... I gotta finish. I gotta finish. Okay, I'm gonna focus for a couple minutes. I'm gonna finish getting my, my collage bits. And I know it looks ugly. Don't judge me. It's gonna get better. Don't judge me. It's gonna get better. You know, I wonder if Hot Pockets is, like, watching. We could call him Flat Fabio. I wonder if he... If we were talking about that. Somebody says, I bet you he's lurking. And I'm like, why would he lurk? And they were like, I don't know. We've had... We, you know what? He, for all the ridiculousness he gave, he gave us all a really good laugh. He, it was... I guess it was worth all the trouble for the laugh. We could tell him, thank you for the laugh, Flat Fabio. We could totally call him Flat Fabio. Flat Fabio, thank you for the laugh, Flat Fabio. Hey, Hot Pockets, say hello. Hot Pockets, if you're out there, if you're one of the lurkers, say hello. He lurks because he needs attention, Lynn. Oh, my God. Oh, Lord, help me. No, that's just so ridiculous. Flat Fabio. Flat Fabio's lurking. So, my middle daughter, the one I told you that, that's 19, she'll be 20, she came over the other day. She was going to help me. She, so she lived part-time with me, and she lives part-time with her best friend. Probably because she's afraid that if I knew all the things she did, that I would be like, what are you doing? But I don't say anything, you guys. You know, I've, it's like one of those things, you just can't say anything to your kids. They don't listen to you anyway, right? Once they get over a certain age. She's at that sort of like awkwardly I don't know what I want to do with my life but yet I know everything about life phase any of you remember being that way at 20 I think I gave my mother a really hard time anyway so she was over here when I was doing my calamari so for those of you that haven't watched <laughs> flat pocket you're right flat pocket oh my god flat pocket oh my god <laughs> Yeah, he thinks he's hot pockets, and we'll give him some origami. I know, like ridiculous, right? So she came over the other day. Put it this way, <clears throat> she starts school soon. So she was like, she's been staying. She's been. She took a little bit of vacation time, and she went to her friend's house. She has a bedroom here. She sleeps here a few nights a week, and she sleeps at her at her best friend's. They share. Best friend has a house all to himself, and they share this house together um, because she works over there and she works nights. She works in a restaurant. You know, she thinks she knows everything about the world. Anyway, so she came over the other day, 
and I was sorting all my stuff. And she, I told you all my kids are like really neat nicks, right? They're like, and so my need, so like this would be very upsetting for her. Oh, wow, Fiona, that was young. So, <laughs> if you need to pick me up, you have to go back to listen to Pocket Man's episode. You guys, I'm sorry. So she sees all my page, papers. I have like a small box of papers and they're all like this. Okay, see how they're like little bits and pieces and the edges and whatever. And the reason I'm not throwing them out, I mean, eventually I will, but it's because I'm using them on these painting and making these serendipity papers. She was out of her mind. She was like, what are you doing? This is trash. This is ridiculous. Like she was like, she, she was criticizing my calamari. She was like saying, you know, like I wasn't doing the, she said I wasn't doing it right. So well, I'm doing my version. She's like, no, you have to do their version. If you don't do their version, then and I was just like, all right, sister. It's like, we're going to have a, we're going to have a, we're not going to discuss this anymore. Cause you know what? I work hard to get my painted papers to look old and grungy and like trash. Okay. Hi, Kaden. This is Aunt Shelly Con talking to you. What are you doing? This is Aunt Shelly, and I'm playing with paint and paper and glue. What are you doing? Are you with Yaya and Gammy? What are you doing? Hi, Kaden. So Renee says she's going to a garage sale tomorrow and your husband has it all mapped out. Oh my gosh, that's a winner, Renee. I would love that. Yes, definitely take care of her shoulder. Kaden is... He's Susan, he's, he's freaking out. He's Susan's grandson, and he's six years old. Oh, here you know it, Kaden. Here I missed your birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you, Kaden. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, six-year-old. He just had a birthday. Um, uh, yes, you have to take care of your shoulder. You definitely have to take care of your shoulder. Is he, is he freaking out? Is he really freaking out, Susan? Kaden, you don't have to be scared. This is just your Aunt Shelly from Hawaii. If I was, if I was there, I'd be over at your house hanging out with you guys. I'd be over with Gummy and Yaya. Oh, you guys. I was going to tell you, oh, let me think if I can, I had some hottie story to tell you guys, but I didn't want to tell you while he was here, but now I'm, I can't remember. You know how my head works. I can't remember what I was going to tell you. It kind of comes and goes in waves, but I was going to tell you, oh, he got his glasses, so that's a vast improvement for him. Now I can, like, see. <laughs> and we have not discussed the banana leaves again, even though we probably do need to. We haven't discussed them again. We haven't discussed looking through the banana leaves before we take them to the green waste. Kaden, everybody's wishing you happy birthday. All of your aunties all over the world are wishing you happy birthday. I love you, Bet. I love you, Susan. I love you, Kaden. Birthday boy, six years old. The most handsome, the most handsome birthday boy. So my 19 year old daughter tried to do an intervention on me with my trash, with my, this sort of thing. She, it just makes her crazy. Okay. And so she's like, she's like out of her mind. So she tried to do an intervention. Oh, I know what I was going to tell you. Okay. Remember we were talking about hot yoga and you guys were like making fun of me about hot yogurt. Okay. That was what I was going to tell you, but I don't want to tell you when he was here. I mean, I could, but then it, you know, it feels, I feel more free just to tell you. You know what I mean? When he's not around. And he never listens to my podcast and I mean my things anyway. Hey, Lurkers, say hi. 
we're, made, we're getting ready to put this card together. I know it looks like a big hot mess right now, but it's going to get good really soon. So, he and my very, my lovely 19-year-old, so he wanted me to, I told you guys, he found like some hot yoga class at like 6 o'clock in the morning or 5.30 and he wanted to go and I was like, I don't think so, okay? So, he convinced my 19-year-old to do hot yoga with him. So, they went for their first hot yoga class yesterday. <laughs> oh, he came home. I, I was like, oh, you guys go. And they didn't go really early. <laughs> I can sign? I don't know. Oh, I can sing? I was a singer at one point in my life. You guys have done just about anything. Anyway. Oh, you can sign? Is that what you said? Good for you. <laughs> anyway, so hot yoga. Hot yoga is a concept, okay? Fiona said she was making envelopes and she just glued it down the top <laughs> so she can't get into it now. Fiona, I would love to tell you it's happened to all of us. Anyway, so he talked to the 19-year-old and taught hot yoga. Well, basically she sort of talked him into it. Like, they got into this conversation about how I needed to go to hot yoga. They were like, oh, don't you think your mom needs to go to hot yoga? Like, they all talk about me like I should do it. And then they, um, Your youngest son is, he's deaf, your, your son's deaf, Renee? Oliver's deaf? Wow, Renee. Oliver's an angel. So anyway, so they, t they, they both, they were like talking third person about me, about how I should go to hot yoga, and then they decided they were going to do hot yoga together. So they went yesterday, and they went in the evening. So yesterday was his pseudo day off, so he went and got his new glasses. He went and got his new glasses. And they look good, but honestly I couldn't tell the difference between those and his reading glasses, but we don't need to tell him that now, do we? So he got his new glasses, he was happy about that, so now he can see better. We haven't, we still haven't found his other ones, I'm sure they're in that pile of banana leaves that I, he was supposed to take to, to the green waste, but I think he's sort of waiting to take it just in case his glasses are in there. You know what, and I haven't said anything. You know, it's his deal. You know, he's the one that lost them. So, he was like looking for our yoga mats. You guys, I don't know where our yoga mats are. I mean, I don't know where they are, honestly. When you've had, when you, we, our house is tiny and small, and our kids all have some stuff here, stored here in our closets, they're well organized, but it's all packed in, and I, he was like, do you know where the yoga mats are? Like, I, like, I'm like the, just like the, probably like the bird whisperer, right? I have to know where everything is, because I don't know why. I guess because I'm the in, in index of everything? I mean, I don't know. So I didn't know where the yoga mats were, so he was like, looking for the yoga mats. And I didn't know where they were. And then he... <laughs> so he gave, finds yoga mats. He finds them. And he, he's the whole time. And he hardly ever gets frustrated. But you guys, it was so hilarious. And I had to just bite my tongue and not say anything. I can hear him in there going... Rrr, 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 you know, like to himself. Like, because he can't find these yoga mats. Well, you guys... I don't know when the last time he did yoga was. You know? I don't know. Not like... I'm not like managing the yoga, the yoga thing. I mean, I do yoga sometimes, but I don't do it like, I know Phaedra says she does it every day. I don't do it every day. So, he finds the yoga mats, gets his towels or whatever, and, and I see what he's wearing. Thanks, Carrie. I see what he's wearing. And... I said to him, are you going to wear those shorts? And I'm like, don't you need to wear, like, more fitted? Because they're sort of like, they're loose shorts, you know? And so I said, don't you need to wear more fitted shorts? Now, you know why I'm thinking this, right? You know, I'm thinking this because in hot yoga, you sweat. And what happens when you sweat in hot yoga? And you're wearing pants that are really loose. Get the visual? The pants fall down. Hi, D. So, he's like on and on about the hot yoga. So, <laughs> so, he goes to hot yoga. So, he and her go to hot yoga. And I don't hear anything. I don't hear like a peep. 
you know, they're, I don't hear a peep on the way back. I don't hear a peep anything. And it comes in. I, I hear the car pull up and the dog goes crazy and starts barking. And I hear, I hear him pull up. And, you know, I'm just sort of interested in So he comes in. I'm like, so I'm just like letting it be like all cool. I'm like, so how's hot yoga? You guys, he walks into the house in his underwear. In his underwear. Now, granted, they're like long briefs, like those fitted sports kind of briefs. But he walks into the house in his underwear because he sweated so much. And like, what did I say? His pants fell off. And then he was so, he had sweated so much in hot yoga, he didn't want to sit in those pants in the car. So I just have this picture of him in the parking lot or whatever, like taking his pants off really quick and jumping in the car in his underwear because it was hot yoga. So he said hot yoga was good. He said, hey, this is what he said. He goes, I said, how was it? He says, well, I didn't throw up. <laughs> I said, oh, well, that's good. I'm glad. Good for you. Like, what a response. I didn't throw up. I'm like, okay, good. I said, well, I'm happy. Good for you. So that was how hot yoga was, you guys. Hot yoga. It was just, you know, he's... He's got his own thing going on. I know, ridiculous, right? In his underwear. I was just, you know, I didn't say anything. I was like, oh, because he walks into the house in his underwear. In his underwear. It was very funny. I was like, what happened? Like, <laughs> so I think he'll be looking for some new shorts to go to hot yoga in. And I'm staying out of it. <laughs> I am staying out of it. So, you know just like kids with husbands boyfriends whatever significant others you gotta let them be they gotta do their own thing bye lisa maybe we'll see you on tuesday <laughs> denise says are you sure pocket man didn't take his pants <laughs> you know it was you know, Liz, he'd done hot yoga a couple years ago. One of his sons, he's very active and he's very fit. And he loves to play tennis and he's like, he's really, you know, he loves all that stuff. He took a hot yoga class several years ago with one of his sons when he came to visit. We have college age children and his college age, one of his college aged sons at the time, or he was in college at the time was really into rock climbing and into all these things and wanted to do hot yoga. So they went and did it one time. That was years ago, okay, years. And you know, he does regular yoga, not all the time. You know, I won't say he's like an avid practicer of yoga or whatever, but like if I wanna do yoga, he'll do yoga with me. I mean, but anyway, he, he really, I told you guys, he, he decided he wanted to do it. I'm not quite sure why. Can you just imagine, though, you guys, his pants fell down, and I knew they would. And I kind of hinted to him. I was like, I was like, you know, I said, don't you sweat a lot in hot yoga? I'm like trying to be like dumb. Don't you sweat a lot in hot yoga? You know, maybe you might want to put on a different pair of shorts. <laughs> you know what? you got to let people be. they got they got to have their own pants fall down and their own thing. Okay? You can't, you know can't ju you can't judge the pants falling down in hot yoga because it is gonna happen it was very funny though for me I laughed I didn't laugh at him though I, I didn't I promise I didn't laugh at him because I, I, I want him to do what he wants to do I want him to be happy and you know what our 19 year old really needed it you know our 19 year old really needed it she's going through all kinds of changes because she thinks she thought I think that when she got out of high school that suddenly magically the whole world would just open up and she would know exactly what she wanted to do with her life and that it would be perfect and I think you know as well as I do you still don't know I mean I still don't know what I want to be when I grow up and I'm 50 53 or 54 I'm 53 years old so I still don't know what I want to be when I grow up okay so, you know, and so she's struggling. She's going through her own thing. And she's also going through this thing because our older, my older daughter, she met the person that's her partner when she was 13 years old. 
she met her the love of her life when she was 13 years old. Now, of course, I don't think she knew Ed at 13, but... And she's 25, and they got married a couple of years ago. And so she's been, like, in my other daughter's eyes, it seems like it's all easy for her. Even though you and I all know that, first of all, no relationship is easy. Even the best relationships aren't easy, right? So we all know that no relationship is easy. But in my in my 19 year old's eyes it is right so <clears throat> we all have grown kids and I have a 10 year old okay what is that about Danina we all have a ten we all have grown kids and I have a 10 year old so so she's like struggling so she's been dating and she's like you know guys at that age they're they're not really fabulously smart and or in or you know you know guys in their 20s so she's like struggling she's been dating like she doesn't you know she she feels like she tried she try, I know because I'm sure that we all compared ourselves to our siblings even though a million times over our parents said you can't compare yourself to anyone you're only you you know all that right but you still do it anyway so she compares herself to her sister who met her person at 13 and they got married, whatever, you know, and now they're living in China. So she, she compares herself to that and she's struggling. Fiona Jane said she just, uh, just sewed a button for your 23 year old son. Yeah. What would they do with other parents? I know, right? Wow, it's early in the morning there, Sarita. Thanks for hanging out with us. That's super early. That's very early. Sarita's in South Africa. Okay, lurkers, say hi. We see you out there. Just say hi. We don't bite. We all want to chat with you. We want to get to know you. Just tell us, say, hey, I'm whoever. So, you know, I was grateful that he went. Even the yoga instructor said to her, you know, I don't think my dad would have ever gone to yoga with me. Now, he's not her biological father, but, you know, I really appreciated it that he went with her. She needed it. And so, they're having bonding time. So, they're they're going, they've, they've planned their hot yoga. Now they're going to hot yoga. Like, he went and he bought the passes for hot yoga for her and him, and then he called her and invited her, like, a real, like, he made it, like, really special. He was like, you know, would you like to, I'd like, I'm gonna try to take some hot yoga. Would you like to go with me? And he bought the he bought the, whatever you want to call it, the passes or whatever. I mean, it was very sweet. And I, you know, I think it's awesome. I think it's super awesome. You know, like he's spending that time with her. But you guys, I would have loved to have been a fly on the wall when his pants fell off. I have to tell you in hot yoga. I would have loved to, now, you know, I would have loved to have been a fly on the wall when the pants fell off in hot yoga. That would have made me laugh. Oh my God. You know what? He is a really lovely man. Can I tell you? He is a really lovely man. He has a lot of patience and he loves our kids. He loves my girls as if they're his kids. I mean, he really loves them equally. All of them. You know, we try to view it as our clan, you know, and it, but it gets difficult sometimes, you know. I mean, my kids were not always nice to him. They were not. They were not. It was it was not an easy thing. For those of you that have blended families, I am sure you have gone through it. It all seems great in that, you know, like, you just do the best you can, right? That's all you can do. You just do the best you can. But, you know, he's a good guy, and he really loves her, but the fact that he did hot yoga with her. So the yoga teacher, I guess, like, kind of called him out at yoga class and said to my daughter and to him that, you know, that she wished that her dad, she, you know, she owns the yoga studio. She said, you know, my dad would never have done hot yoga with me. Now, I don't think that they then said, oh, well, well, you know, this is my stepdad or anything like that. I think they just went with it, but, but you guys would have laughed so hard. Hottie's pants falling down at hot yoga. Gotta have some pants falling down at hot yoga. That is a real father, you know? You're right, Helen. It's only a good idea if it's theirs. <laughs> but I get the last laugh. I think, you know, he kind of said something to me. I said, oh, so when are you going back to hot yoga? <laughs> I think we're going on Sunday. Oh. Uh, 
Uh, Lucinda, that's awesome. Lucinda says that her husband was a great dad. Her sweet Sam was a great dad to her sons, even though they weren't his. You know what? I think, I think that's awesome, Lucinda. And I'm sorry for your loss. I'm sure it's really difficult. But you know what? They had a model, role model of a dad. And you know what? That's what I can say about him. Can I tell you, no matter what my kids have put him through, he shows up for them. And they have not been easy. Trust me, they have not been easy. Okay, we're almost ready to fold. Is anybody ready to fold with me? If you haven't finished doing your painting, if you haven't finished doing your gluey paper, just get two pieces of paper the same size so that you get the idea and you can make a template with it. Okay? You know he shows up for he shows up for all of them. He shows up for all of them. He shows up for all of them. And he is a kind, kind person. He shows up. And they have not been easy on him. They have not been nice all the time. My older girls have put him through a lot. Yeah. But he's still there, you know. He doesn't he doesn't waver. And I appreciate that, you know. It actually makes me love him more. It, it makes me love him more that he shows up for them and they're not his children. And it makes me love him more that he shows up for them and he doesn't waver. It really does. Okay, what did I miss? What did we do, Brenda? And I missed that. Being a stepfather is hard, Carrie. You know, it really is. What about knowing to dump Mod? I missed you guys. I'm missing with the Mod. What? Who dumped Mod Podge on what? Listen, to, I think the teen years, if we could, uh, I think if we could just like miss all of it in the teen years, it, the teen years is just like, I don't know. The teen years is like, the teen in the early 20s, okay? Because if you had decent teenagers, then they act like, jerks in their 20s. Scotty, you're six feet tall? Wow, I am so short. You guys, I'm like five foot three. My 10 year old's getting ready to be taller than me. All right, it's like ridiculous. All my kids are taller than me. Like my daughters are like five, eight, five, nine. And my little one will be taller than me. And she's only 10. crazy six feet that's awesome okay so you got your papers I'm gonna clean my desk off just a tiny bit because it is a little bit okay lurkers who's out there say hey okay so how many of you guys are ready to do your folding I'm just gonna I just want to move some of my I've got like some papers going on sisters this is ridiculous I started out all neat you saw I, I even started out all neat today right I started out all neat and now I got a big old mess okay so this is the thing does anybody have any plain paper with you like get your, if you if you're not ready to do this part with your painting with your with your and don't worry that you haven't done anything to the back of your junk mail you can do that after you've done the folding okay congratulations on your new baby jen congratulations Okay, so here we go. All right, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna you're gonna fold. All right, let's figure out which one's the front. You guys, it took me a little bit of a time to figure this out. Okay, because you want to you gotta fold them different ways. Okay, so the back one looks like this. Do you see the back one where it goes down, up, down, up, down, up like a regular like a fan? Can you see it? Hopefully, you guys can see it. Can you see it? It goes like that. Okay, the part that's going to go on the top goes like this. Do you see how it... I mean, it's similar, but it's like... Okay, the back is going to... The back has mountains, and the front has... The front has the folds in, and then goes down and up. Because the whole thing is it's got to meet. Alright, so... Decide which piece is going to be your front. It doesn't... You can re... You can... Even if you fold it this way, you can, you can adjust it.
Helen says her son came over yesterday with a jacket and he sewed decorative patch. That he sewed decorative patches on or you did? Oh, he did. You didn't know he could sew? That's awesome. He watched you and he could sew? That's awesome. Okay. <clears throat> so, whatever one's going to be your front or your back, it doesn't matter at this point. I'm just showing you. So, like, fold it in half. And you could measure this, but you, you guys, I don't like measuring. Okay, fold it in half. And we're going to do Carla's trick of where you go to the center of your page and you fold it out. And the center and you fold it out. Because if you go to the center, then your pages line up. So, so now you've folded your piece of paper in half. Okay, who's folding with me? Are you guys folding with me? And don't worry if your pages come up from your glue stick. You can go back and glue them. Okay, so you folded it in half. Alright, so then the next thing is you're going to take one side and fold it into the half mar halfway mark. I need to make my... If you have a bone folder, that works great. I have one, just not over here with me. Okay, so you're going to fold, you're going to line up the edge to the fold and do the same thing again. Now, once you start gluing pages, papers down, it becomes a little bit harder, but don't worry about it. You know, it's going to work out. I don't want you to, I don't want you to think it doesn't work out. Okay, so now you have that one folded in and you're going to do the same thing. You're going to turn the card over and do it the same way. Okay. You want to fold it from the center out. It does make a difference. You're folding, Glory? Okay. Okay. So now you have it folded it like this in force. Like this, right? Okay, now do the other page as well. The same way. Ready? Same way. Fold it in half. From the center you can do this with a scrap piece of paper if you don't want to you know if you haven't gotten your painting papers done yet okay and fold it one side back into the center turn it around do the other side who else is folding with me Because I know you guys are going to like send me messages like, how did you do that? So stop for one second and just do the fold. If you want to make this. If you don't want to make it, it doesn't matter. Okay. So you have two pieces that are fold like this, right? We haven't decided which one's going to be the front or the back right now. Don't worry about it. Alright, so now what you're going to do is you're going to take your first side whatever side doesn't matter you're gonna fold it back on itself like an accordion right you want it to line up with the first fold line and fold them all again okay so then you're gonna fold it back over and you're gonna keep doing it until you've done your accordion so I do, you do half and then the other half It does get a little bit tricky when you glued really heavy pages to it. That's why this piece of junk mail isn't as heavy as the other ones that I usually use. Okay, and you want to do the same thing. You want to fold this one back like an accordion and match it up to the match it up to the center fold. Okay, how many lurkers are out there making along? You working on a project? Okay. How's some Laurel? Laurel, I got a pink, I got a purple book yesterday and I thought about you. Okay, now go to the other side and do it the same way. So this is what you have so far. You folded it in, out, in, and then you have this side flat. Now repeat the step. Fold it and fold this piece onto itself. Fold it onto the fold. If you can see the fold line, just like an accordion. Okay, and then go back and fold, fold it onto that side and then back again to the front and meet the halfway mark in the middle. 
the paper's so busy that it's a little bit hard for you guys to see, but as long as you see that it's like an accordion, you'll get it. Junk mail's a little bit hard. You gotta finesse it. It's not like regular scrapbooking paper or whatever because you've glued a bunch of stuff onto it already. Okay, so now here's what you have. Right, you've got it in out, and and it's gonna do it. It's gonna do itself. And don't worry about if the little pages that you've glued down are not perfect yet. It doesn't matter. I mean, the you know if they're coming up, you can go back and fix them. Okay, and sometimes you won't need to fix it if it's the part you're gonna cut off. So don't don't stress out over it. This is not a perfect cra perfect crafting method. Okay. All right. Now do the same thing. So now this is what I have here. Do the same thing to the other piece. Okay. So you're going to end up with eight accordion, eight pieces of accordion, eight little accordion bits. I didn't cut that one straight. Hi, Shelly, twenty thousand and four. How are you? You guys, what time is it where you are? Can you guys tell me the time? It is 5.20 here. Well, what time is it What and what time zone are you in? Sarita, we know it's really early where you are. Okay, and you're going to keep doing your folding in and out like your accordion until... Just do it one half of the side and then go to the other half and do the other half. You know what I mean? Do it from outside to the center and then go and then turn around and do it the other way. Okay? I found it works better that way. Maybe you'll find it doesn't, but just, just try it. Try it my way one time and then if you don't like it, you can say, ah, forget it. I'm going to do it my own way. So, so this is like the way I found when you can't see the edge to make sure that you're going all the way to the to the center is to fold it. Okay. Okay. Eight twenty. Okay, it's a it's one twenty p.m. on Saturday in Sydney, Australia. Eight twenty in Oregon. Ten twenty where you are, Scotty. Scotty, where are you right now? 11.20 Eastern. 10.20 in, in Texas. What's the scary look on my face? Is the scary look on my face? What are you guys talking about? I'm missing it all. Okay. This is our last fold in. You guys, once you make one, you're going to get the hang of it, and then you're going to start making them all the time. Okay? Alright, so... So here's what we have now. We have these two pieces, right? Okay? We have... We have this one, and we have this one. Alright? So now you just have to decide what's your front and what's your back. And the only thing that, my only suggestion is, whatever you decide what's on your back is that you want to make sure, it, if you're going to stamp on it, that you leave, that, that you pick the least busy of the two. Okay, if you're going to stamp on it. Now this would be the time to do your stamping. Okay, this would be the time to do your stamping. Now what I did when I first made mine was I made like a template out of another piece of junk mail just so that I could see what would show through what would show through what you would be able to see you, do you know what I mean what you're going to be able to see through your um, windows okay so I think I'm going to make this one the back and this one the front let me just glue down my little bits right here that are so the back one you're not going to cut anything to you're not going to cut anything off now you know, you can lay it flat and stamp. You can do like I did on that on this one where I stamped everything because I didn't really know what I was gonna what it was gonna look like. Hi, Victor. How are you? 
Okay, so this is the back. I've decided the one, this one's going to be my back and this one's going to be my front. Okay, so this is what you do. See how you have these three mountains? You're going to cut these. You're going to cut them. All right, and then look. So this is how you cut them. Okay, see how this one is? You cut it down at an angle. Then I flip it over and cut another angle, and then I cut it off in between. And don't worry, you could measure it. I'm not going to measure it. It doesn't matter if it's not, <gasps> not perfect. Okay? So the one that is like this, you're going to cut peaks and three mountains, but you're going to do them separately. All right? And you could do all your windows separate, different sizes if you wanted. All right? So let me just show you how you do it. So easy. Okay, but can you guys see? Let me see. Where can I make it where you can see it better? This is the one that I've cut. Can you, you kind of see it? Okay, so you're going to cut the first one. You're going to cut, kind of cut it at an angle. Can you see my, you need to leave some at the top and you need to leave some at the bottom. Even if you haven't decided what the top or the bottom is, try to remember that. Because if you cut it up too close, there won't be anything to sew it to. Okay, so cut one side in a little bit. And then turn it around and cut the other side. And then what I do is I go back and I just cut straight to where the lines meet. And that's window one. Okay? So then what I do is I line it up to the next one. And it may not be perfect. And I don't want you, you know, let go of the perfection of this right now, you guys. It doesn't matter if it's not perfect. Okay? And do window number two. I just cut a little bit. And they don't have to be the same size, so don't worry about it. In fact, don't even try to make them the same size. It's better if you don't. Because trying to make them the same size is, unless you measure it. If you're going to measure it, get a ruler out and draw it. You know, draw your lines if you're a perfectionist. But guys, this is made out of trash. So, okay, there's window two. Okay, window one, window two. Now I'm going to go back and fix my bits that are coming up. Don't worry about it. Now I just take window, window two to window three, and I do the same thing. I cut in to where it is. And then do the same thing on this end. It doesn't matter if it's not perfect. And then I come back where I've slid it in and then I try to make it meet up. Okay. So there we have all three windows. Okay. So where's our piece right here? This is our back. This is our front. Okay. Maybe I'll turn it around. Maybe there's too much purple on one side. So I'll turn it around. All right, now that's it. Now let me just show you what I'm going to do now. So you need to have a meet up. So I'm going to have to fix this one. I'm going to have to make it go the other way. I'm going to have to make it go the other way. I have to make my fold to go the other way because it needs to be the opposite of the one of the front one. But because you've already scored it, it's easier. You can make it go the other way without too much problems. Do you know what I'm saying? You're, you're folding it so that it's the opposite fold of that one. My glue stick in. Okay, here we go. That's better. So now here it is. Because what you want to do is you're going to sew. You're going to sew the peaks to the peaks. The diamonds to the diamonds. Do you see right here? going to sew the diamonds to the diamond, the diamond to the diamond, and the diamond to the diamond. Do you see? That's going to be our card. So now get your needle and thread, and you need a couple of paper clips, okay? And I'm just using a darning needle. Now, if you don't want your, now, but let me just say this. If you do want to do your stamping, now would be the time to do your stamping on the back because you can't or adding anything or whatever but now do you see where your windows are lining up so if you were gonna like write um, a sentiment in there you would write it in the in the crease there
Now, I haven't done anything to the back of this card. If you wanted to paint it, you could. I'm not going to. I'm not going to paint it. I'm just going to let it be. Whoever gets it's going to have to know that they got to renew your dental office thing. Are you guys following me? Yeah, for those of you that haven't joined our Facebook group, come on over and join it. Crafting Llamas. Victor, we would love to have you be a member of our of our crafting group. I mean, any kind of craft that you do. Now I have green thread and I have this red thread. This is all I have. I'm going to go ahead and sew with my red thread so that hopefully you'll be able to see it. Carla sewed hers with a beautiful metallic thread and I loved it. And I don't have any metallic thread here right in front of me. So you could sew it with any type. And I'm sewing mine with a darning needle. The whole might end up being bigger. You're following me, Carrie? Oh, awesome. Carrie, these would be fun for your ladies, the ladies, your, your group of people, you know? It would be totally great. Are any of you guys making? You're following AshTube? Awesome. Are, are any of you guys um, making... Um, The really cool shabby chic journal Michelle made. Are you guys, any of you guys making that? She's making it from a kit, but I think you could probably do it without the kit. You can make your own, okay? Okay, you don't want a knot in your thing. Now you need your clips. You need your, um, your clips so it holds it together while you are, it can be regular paper clips. It doesn't necessarily have to be the ones I have. Okay, you're going to sew it in the seam. You're just doing two pieces. I'm just going to clip it together at the top over here so that I get the two pieces together. I'm going to clip it at the top and at the bottom. If you have regular paper clips, use them. I just don't have any right here in front of me. Okay. You're doing it with plain copy paper? Yeah, it's good. It's a good practice thing. You could do a 6 by 6 scrap of paper too. Now you guys, the ends are going to become your cover, so you're going to need a piece for your cover. But the ends are going to, the ends are going to function as a, as the place for your binding and your cover. Okay, so what you're going to do is, hang on, I don't have it even, you guys. I didn't measure it. I didn't cut it right, but it doesn't matter. It'll work out anyway, but. Okay. It doesn't have to be perfect, you guys. It really doesn't. Okay, so... I'm just going to poke holes in it and sew it. I'm going to... I think I'm going to knot mine on the front, but you could knot it on the back. You could do it any way you wanted to. So just go... Get up to the top, and you're just going to poke a hole through with your needle. And you're going to pull and leave your tail in the front. Leave a tail in the front. Right? And then you're going to come, turn it over and come back through the same, you know, the same fold. And then you're just going to tie it. This is it. And you're going to do two of them on each of the folds. So this is one. Now, if you wanted it to be much more, um, to be much more seen than what I'm doing, do it with a much more contrasting thread, you know, so that you could see it. So, you're going to do it at the top, and you're going to do it at the bottom. And that's it. You're going to keep going, and then I'll show you how we make the cover, and then we're done. But do you see how kind of addictive this could be? And it doesn't really matter if you don't get it perfect, you guys. Let go of the perfection of it, okay? Let go of the perfection of all of it. I'm going to sew it with a regular thread and needle. Hang on, let me make sure I only have one piece of thread. One, and then come back up through the, the same thing. Beep. 
Hold your tail while you do it so that you don't lose it. Because it, if you lose it, you know what I mean. It's like ridiculous when you, especially when you're doing something so small and fiddly. What are you guys saying? I'm missing it. Yeah, we can do inchies. I'm sorry, we didn't do any inchies today. No, Eva, I can only do so many things. Inchies are fun. Inchies, inchies, you use the same sort of base, and it's it's a lot like your your cards that we just made, but you just make it on a smaller scale. You know, you you decide what you want on it. You know, I've made inchies are really fun, but if you have if you have bad eyesight, start with two start with twenties, which are two inch squares. Okay. Because I have glue on my fingers and my hands are like sticky, sticky, sticky from the glue. Oh, I broke my thread. I got this thread at a thrift store and I had sort of a sneaking suspicion that it might not be really good, strong thread. So I'm going to sew again. I had a slight sneaking suspicion it might not be great when I bought it. But I did it anyway because I, I liked the color of it. You know, you never know here how things are going to be. They're going to be like really good bargains or like now you know why somebody got rid of it or that sort of thing. You guys, you really can't mess this up. Don't worry about it. You can't mess it up. So don't think about it. Inchies are a lot like ATCs, just on a much smaller scale. Okay, so that's one. Now you got to keep. Now you're gonna go down to the next side. Next, the next. Um, you're gonna skip the one. You're gonna skip the one with the window, and you're gonna go to the next one. Okay, and do the same thing. Luana, you can use anything for your backgrounds. You could use junk mail for your backgrounds of inchies. Inchies are like ATCs, but on a much smaller scale. Hang on, i got to wash my hands really quick, you guys. I have some water right here. My hands are so gluey that I'm like getting it all in there. Okay, what do you guys... You can use anything for your backgrounds of inchies. Anything, okay? I make all my backgrounds first. You know what you could do? You know what makes really great inchies? Or serendipity paper. Because when you cut them out, you can't... When you cut them out, and you're making your one-of-a-kind paper, you know, so cut them into one-inch squares, and then decorate them. But what I usually do is I usually double-stick tape them to a surface. Like, I make, like, a... I don't know. I have one somewhere around here. I'll make, like, a double-stick surface. I'll make a... I mean, a... You know, put like some double stick tape. All right, go to the next one, you guys. I want I want to see you guys get get your cards sewn together because I want to put the ends on it. It's probably easier to go in through the back because it's easier to go in through the the valley and not the peak. And I'm also using a darning needle. I'm not using a um, a sharp needle. So to get your initial hole started. So, am I missing your? I'm missing all the chat. I'm sorry, guys. What are you saying? Um, what it? Say it again. What was the question? What do you do with them once you make them? Well, a lot of people collect them and frame them. I mean, they're like ATCs. Many people trade them like ATCs. Collect them and frame them. You know, put them on a piece of paper. I've made. I make embellishments with mine. I've made paper clips with mine. Um, you can use them as a focal point in a journal page. You can, you know, anything. I mean, what do you do with art? You enjoy it, right? A lot of people make inchies and twenchies, you know? They're just really small, little, tiny pieces of one-of-a-kind art. Okay? That's really what they are. 
Did I answer your question? I mean, you can do anything you want with them. I mean, what do you do with a flip book? You guys spend all these hours making flip books. What do you do with a flip book? What do you do with a flip book once you make it? What do you do with a journal once you make it? You use it, right? So, I mean, decide what you want to do with them. There's no rules. It's your art. If you wanted to keep them, I know lots of people, lots of people um, collect them and put them together all together in a journal, you know? But you can do with them what you wish. You may do with them what you wish. They are your pieces of artwork, and so can you see how it's starting to come together like an accordion? I'm in love with this, you guys. You could use them as the focal points in your greeting cards. I mean, it's really up to you. There's no, you know what, there is no right way or wrong way with any of it. It is all in what you want to do. It is your choice. Okay, there's like no... Nobody's going to turn around and go, oh, well, you didn't do your inches the right way. I mean, do what you want to with it. You know what? You guys, there doesn't have to be a purpose for art. You can art just for the enjoyment and the creativity, and you can art for the sake of art. Okay? You can art for the sake of art. Like, I make ATC sometimes just for the sake of wanting to do some small art for myself. And wanting to enjoy that creative process and how my mind flows or what I'm going through. You can document your day with it. I mean, make it up for yourself. Trade, give them away, make a book for them. I mean, it's up to you what you do with them. Okay, so here's one. And now I have to do, I have, I have four more things to sew. Good night. Are you leaving, Fee? I love you, Fiona. Thank you so much for everything. Thank you, Fiona. I'm like blown away. You make, got me speechless, and it was amazing and so unexpected. And I'm just I'm in a state of like appreciate, just gratitude, just a state of gratitude. It's fun, Lucinda. It's not, I mean, I made it more fiddly. Maybe I should have made you guys, showed you guys how to do one without the painty papers, but without the collage part of it, because you could just make it with scrapbook paper if you had it. You know, you could just make it with scrapbook paper. But I wanted to do it, for me, I wanted to do it because you guys know my last, my last card thing was so ridiculous. My last, um, Hang on, you guys, I'm just trying to get my folds going. My last thing that I made with, for my... For my swap when the lady told me that I made her a trash card or whatever. Which I'm sure she didn't... I'm sure she didn't mean it in a bad way. But, you know, and I was so proud of my trash card. Because I love making recycled art. And I don't do it for any reason. I do it for myself. Do it for the creativity and I do it for myself. Hi, Jamie. We're making an accordion card or an accordion book or I don't know what you want to call it. I'm making mine as a card. I'm not using great thread. So my thread, I may have to go back and re-sew mine. But I'm going to just complete it to show you guys how to finish it. And then I'll go back and re-sew it with some thread that's going to stay. We're, gonna, we're making an accordion card, Jamie. We're making um, an accordion card. Or you could make this as an accordion book, a book or a card, whatever you want to call it. We're sewing it together right now, and then we're going to put the ends on it, and then you guys can see what it looks like. And then, you know, art does not have to be utilitarian. I don't know why in our, in our particular society you have to think that art is utilitarian. It doesn't have to be. It can be. I mean, there are fun there are such things as functional art, but I don't think it's a necessity, at least not in my world. You know, I make it for the, the joy. Hi, Edna. I make it for the joy. I make it for the enjoyment, and I make it for the fun of just making art. Okay, so now you guys can see. I'm sorry. I'm like, 
And you can start to see how it accordions, okay? See, and I still have one more section to go, but now can you see how it accordions? How it's gonna accordion together? And then we'll make the ends. I mean, does everything you guys do have to have a reason? For some people it does. I mean, do you don't know how many times I get that question as far as a junk journal goes? I like, that's probably the number one question I get all the time from people. What's it for? <laughs> you guys, an artist for no reason. It's for self-expression. You don't have to have a reason for it. Art for art's sake, Lynn. Absolutely. I mean, in all honesty, why do you make dolls as a grown woman? I mean, you're not playing with them. You make them for art's sake. You make them for the, the creative expression. You make them for the feeling it gives you when you make it. You make it for the feeling it gives you when you look at it. You know? That's what, I mean, that's how it works for me. For myself. But you decide what, why you're making what you make. You know? I mean, do you enjoy it? Do you, I mean, what is, why, why do you make it every, why, what works for you? What, why, why do you do it for you? We're just making an accordion book. It's not that big of a deal. It's not that big of a deal. If you want to see an amazing one made, go and look, go over to Cage Fish. I don't know what she has in the title. You know what, I'll make sure that I link it at the end of the video, I mean, in the video description. Okay, well, I'm almost done. I have one more place to sew. I may need to re-thread my needle because I need more thread. So, I didn't finish my Shabby Chic Journal Mildred because I decided I wanted to dye my pages. And I haven't, I have to adventure in dyeing them. I want to dye the lace on my pages. I haven't finished it, but I will. I had to let it sit down. So, Shelly2004 says she arts to, for her health issues. That's great. That's an awesome reason to art. But they were, the whole thing they were talking about is what do you, what are inches and why do you make them and what do you do with them? Okay, but what do you do with anything, honestly? Okay? What do you do with anything, honestly? Okay? I make a lot of journals that I never write in. Some of them I glue in, some of them I art in, some of them I paint in, some of them I don't do anything in. Some of them it's just it's just the feeling of completing a project. Do you, you know, like, I've enjoyed it. I've, I've, I've used my time wisely for myself, given myself some, given myself some peace. You know, giving myself a little peace of mind, giving myself a little, well, see, I pulled my tail all the way through, girls. I told you, I did. Do what I say, not what I do. I pulled my tail all the way through. Um, you know, I think for everyone, it's a different reason. Some of us art for relaxation. Now, I will tell you, inches are fiddly. They're very fiddly. So if you're not a kind of fiddly person, if you don't like fiddly stuff, then it might not be the most relaxing thing for you. It might be, like, more frustrating than it is relaxing. Because you're, you're trying to make a piece of art out of a one inch by one inch square of paper. Do you know what I mean? So it may not be guys it may not be the may not be the piece may not be the thing for you does that make sense it may not be your may not be your piece of art yeah I make art for me because it brings me joy too Danina it brings me joy and I have to say paper crafting unlike like because I used to be a voracious seamstress. I would sew all kinds of things. I made clothes and dolls and home decor and art. I sewed art quilts and portrait quilts. And I will say paper crafting is a lot less stressful than sewing for me. For me. Okay, can you see my... Now you can see all my... Um, and I can go back and cut my threads, but I just want to leave them so you can see them. So do you see how it's sewed? It's sewn. What did you say? Okay, so see how these ends are? These are the ends, and you're going to, 
And these you're going to glue to paper and make a... But do you see? This is what it's going to be like. Isn't that going to be cool? This is like so cool. Okay, so then what you're going to do is... I made two of them, but they're somewhere on my table here. Just give me a second and I'll show you. Okay, here's the ends. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue... This one's a little bit big. This is for another book I made. So I can we can glue it together. And you can glue them. You're going to glue them on to an end, right? I can cut up another piece. This was just a piece of junk mail that I covered with a book page. All right. And then you're going to, I'm sorry, guys, I've got threads everywhere. And then you're going to glue this side to something else like this. So you ask me, like, where you can write your sentiment. You can write it on the outside of here. Okay. So then when you open it up, it's going to be like this. Isn't it cool? And it's made from your junk mail. ATCs are artist trading cards, Sherry. You trade them with other artists. So this is my little book. Okay, and all I did for these pages, and I need to measure it differently for this one, because it needs to be it needs to be smaller. So what you want to do is you want to trace around the edge of your page. And you can tell mine's not even, but it's okay. It still came out even though it's not even, okay? And I'm not going to go back and trim it. I'm going to let it be what it is. So you want to measure your page, and you want to glue a piece here and a piece here. And then you want to make another outside card like this so that it overlaps a little bit bigger. Now, if you wanted to put like a, a tie or something, this is where you would glue your tie in. You know what I mean? Glue your thing to wrap around to close your book. Isn't it going to be cool? Shelly, jumping up and down here, are we going to finish our shabby chic journal? Mildred, you have my permission to finish it before me. I have to dye my pages, Mildred. I'm not happy with my, um, I'm not happy with my, um, my paper. I, I, w I didn't really like it. So, Carrie, if I were going to send it to military wives, I might not do so much fiddly stuff. I might go to a six by six piece of scrapbook paper and do it like this. You know, just because, you know what I mean? Where I stamped all the inside of my page, did my accordion. Now all I have to do left is sew it and make my little, make my little accordion box. I, I will eventually finish it, Mildred. I just can't, I just can't do it at this minute. I just, the thing for me, Mildred, is if I'm not, if I'm not totally inspired to finish it, if it if it doesn't if it's not working for me, I gotta let it. I gotta set it back. I gotta like, it's an art process, right? So if it's not working, I gotta like set it down. So I want. I gotta. I have to spray my or dye my lace because I didn't like it. It was, look. It looked like a little smaller one's like super easy, Carrie. I have a piece. Let me see if I can find a piece of six by six scrapbook paper. I just did a fiddly longer project with you guys, but oh, what did I, I had a whole bunch of scrapbook and paper. Where did I put it? So this is what happens. I clean off my desk. I clean it all off because, okay, like here's this, here's a piece of scrapbook and paper. All right. Here, let's do the scrapbook and paper carry really fast, and it's so easy. Okay, I want to cut the end off of this because then that's not six by six. Um, Mildred, I have to work on it when I feel really inspired, and it just... It wasn't fun. I didn't, I needed to do something with the paper, I mean with the pages, and I didn't, I wasn't really crazy about how they were coming out. So, that's why I haven't finished it. Okay, so Carrie, fold your pages in half, because you need two paper, two pieces of paper. Anybody that wants to make this really fast, and not make it with, not make it with fiddly papers, not make it, you know, out of your junk mail. But I will. I will go back and finish it. I will. And I'll let you know, Mildred. I'll put it in there. I'll put it up. I'll make a big comment. I just, I have to dye the pages. Like, I've done everything else to it. I have to dye the pages. I just don't know. Yours didn't come out right. Didn't you know what happened? What happened? Well, I didn't do yours right. Why didn't you, what didn't it come out? How didn't it come out right? Janina, get just a plain piece of paper. 
and or something with a color on it so you can see it, okay? All right. Fold it in half. You do need eight, eight, whatever you want to call those, or eight folds, eight accordions. Fold it in half. Fold that part in half. And then fold it in to meet the center. Right? And then turn it over, do the same thing. Fold it in to meet the center. Okay, so you have that fold. Fold a piece back on, onto itself like this. Like, so you're going to make your accordion. All right. And fold the next piece back onto itself so that you have your accordion. You didn't cut it right. Well, let's do the cutting again. Get a scrap paper and we'll do the cutting, okay? Alright, and then you want to do the same thing to this one. You want to fold it back. And again, fold it forward and then fold it back. If you guys want to see the expert rendition of this, go over and watch Carla Caged Fish, as I've mentioned many times. But she, hers is perfect. Mine is not perfect. Hers is also made out of beautiful paper. Mine's made out of trash, except for this one. Okay, so you have one like this. Do the same thing for your next piece. You need eight folds, eight accordion folds. Not a big deal. It happens. What are you going to do, you know? It's like, it happens to Nina. I've messed up mine before. I have messed up so many things in paper crafting. Are you kidding? I don't feel so guilty, though, when I'm making it out of recycled stuff. I wouldn't even feel guilty making it out of a, a little piece of scrapbook paper. But, you know, like sometimes when you're doing other forms of art, like you're doing, like, you know, making dresses and stuff like that, sewing... You're, um, you know, you're making your big mistakes is sort of costly and painful, right? But Carla's tip of always going from the center out really works to, to even up your, your things. But I sort of liken it made out of junk mail, made out of junk mail, made out of painted papers. I mean, I don't know what the lady that's going to receive it as a card is going to say, but I'm, like, digging it. Like, if somebody sent me that as a card, I'd dig it. I would totally be like, this is the coolest card ever. Like, I'd probably be more likely to keep it. Well, I try to keep all my stuff anyway, but at least the card part, because I use it in my journaling. But, you know, the average person that you give cards to don't, don't keep them. Right? So. There. There. And one more, folding it back onto itself so that it has eight accordions. Alright, I don't have a pencil. Let me see if I can find a pencil. If I have one close by so we can mark it. Okay, so we have all these, right? So if you're going to stamp, you want to stamp on the blank side of... You want to get your stamps out and stamp on the blank side of your paper. Of your... And let me see, I know I must have some stamps somewhere here. Okay, where did... I, oh, my back's... Have you, I have been sleeping so weird, my back has been like tense. Have you guys, have you guys ever had that? Like when you sleep and it should be like this really restful, amazing sleep and instead your back is like seizing up on you and you're feeling like, what am I doing and that sort of thing. I need a stamp. Oh, I cleaned off my desk. This is what I get. This is what I get. This is totally what I get for um, cleaning off. I have some stamps, but I don't have a stamp pad. All right, here's some stamps, and where's an ink pad? Please, oh good, I found a distress ink pad. All right. Now what's gonna really show up is the, the, the pointy part from the underneath. But I like sort of stamped all over the paper because I didn't really know what was gonna show up. Like, I did know, but 
You know what I mean? I tried to make like a scene on the page. On the one I did early, one I did the other day. So this is like butterflies and flowers and and butterflies and flowers and butterflies and flowers. Okay, so I would say go down and stamp all the way at the bottom. I would stamp and find a scrap paper. I would say stamp the bottom. I would stamp it as if you're going to see whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like I would stamp it like, since mine's going to be like more like a garden, I'm going to do like, make mine like kind of like grass. Okay, and then here's a flower stem. But I'm going to use it as like a tree or something. I'm going to stamp mine like a tree. But you do it however you, whatever works for you. If there's no right or wrong, it's your card. Don't, you know, just because I'm making mine like this, don't make yours. Make yours however you want to make it. This is what you're going to see, though, in the window of your stamping. Right. And let me see, maybe I'll put a butterfly. Good night, Eva. Maybe I'll put a butterfly in the middle. Maybe I'll put one. Maybe I'll do this as a Guys, I'm not an expert stamper. I don't really, st I only use stamps like in like a mixed media way. I don't necessarily stamp in like a perfect stamping world. You know what I mean? You know, some people just, they really stamp and they have it all down. It's not me. I just, I stamp just a little bit. Like, I'm not I'm trying to make it look a little bit like a garden without, without having all the right tools. Okay? Because what you're going to see through the, car, through the card is, all right, let me put some more butterflies. Maybe we'll put a butterfly here. Let's see if I can get a butterfly up here. Okay, so here's the part you're going to cut. Ready? Okay, so let's see. All right, so all right, let me, let me get my It doesn't matter if it's not perfect, you guys. Let go of the perfection. Jennifer, I didn't make this up. An accordion book's been around forever. Okay? Alright, so here's the cutting part. Okay, so that's the back, and this is the front. Okay, the cutting part is... I wish I had a pen! I don't even have anything right here. I cleaned off everything. This is what happens. I'm so ridiculous. Okay. Just watch really carefully. So you're going to cut at an angle, okay? So, and leave, make sure you leave room at the top and at the bottom. Cut it at an angle. Cut it at an angle. And then make it meet the other, the angle, you know, the part that you've cut off. Okay? Alright, that's one. Right. If you want to measure them, you can measure them. If you want to get them right in the center, you can get them right in the center. You can do them graduated sizes. You can do them all different. They don't have to be, you know, it's not, it doesn't have to be super perfect. Okay? And do the same thing. What I do is I line it up to the one that I just cut. And I just, just so I know where the mark is. 
Okay. And two. Now go back and measure if you want to be perfectionist and measure, do it. Practice though. I mean, get yourself some a magazine page and practice. Practice the folding. Practice all of it. You know, if you practice, you're going to definitely get it down. And you could draw it. Okay, three. So do you see? That was it. Okay. Then what you need to do is see how they need to meet up. That's where they're going to be sewn. Do you see where they're going to touch each other so that they're so that they're like a diamond. See what I mean? Because these two are going to be your end. So you'll see it like this. Let me just fix this one. The one thing is you do want to leave a little bit more than I left at the top, even on these little ones, because and then you're just going to go through and sew it. Okay, do you see? It's going to be like that. Can you see it? It's a little harder when you're doing it through a bunch of layers. But you want to leave more than I left up there because it can weaken your card as it opens and closes. You guys got it? Alright my girls. Is there any questions you guys have? Anything you want to talk about before we say adieu? Thank you so much for spending time with me. I had a wonderful night with all of you. Even though I couldn't keep up with the chat. Um, how many of you guys are still here? Just say hey. You can, Liz, you can do whatever you want. I mean, I cut it separately because it, it's easier on the scrapbook. It's, you know, but you do it how you want it. I love you, Susan. You're not even going to stay for the aloha? <laughs> Okay, you guys, so everybody take a deep breath in. Please go over and join our Facebook group, Crafting Mamas. Please, 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 we would love to have you be part of it. Tanina, I'm so happy you're here. Love you guys. Okay, everybody close your eyes for like one second and just... Feel your connection to the earth and feel your connection to heaven. And take a deep breath in. And let it go. And take a deep breath in. And let it go. Breathe in and let go. One more time. Take a deep breath in and just let go. Okay, my girls, it's not my puppy, it's a puppy outside. The puppy, my dog's outside, I don't know, it's the dog across the street. I love you, my girls, I love you, love you, love you. I'm sending you huge hugs, I'm sending you lots of aloha as always, and I look forward to seeing your cards. Please post them in the Facebook group. I'm going to finish mine, and Mildred, I promise I will get to my shabby chic journal soon, I promise, I promise. And as always, girls, from my heart to your heart, I'm sending you so, so, so much aloha. You, you love the let go aloha. Awesome, Carrie. I do feel how much, how blessed I feel. I love you guys. God bless you too, Denise. 
So I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. I hope I look forward to seeing you guys on Tuesday. We'll make a couple of ATCs Tuesday. Maybe we can finish a book or two. I don't know. We'll work on our ATCs. And, and you know what? I promise I'll try to do some, some entries. I was going to cut some today, but I didn't. And we can discuss those further. All right, ladies, run over and join our Facebook group. You're always welcome. Keep the chat going there. Post whatever you're making. Post pictures of your animals, your grandkids, your children, too. Your favorite recipes. Whatever you guys want to share. We always love it. I love you, girls. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Okay, big, huge hugs. Thanks for hanging out with me. All right, take care.